All right, what's everybody? Clisto here, another FGC Meetups. We're here at Ignite Skokie. Uh, we have Persona 4 Arena lined up today. Uh, brand new game just came out yesterday. I believe it's a spinoff of BB Tag. I, I, I think that's what's going on, right? Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, PS4 port of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax just dropped this week. Uh, if you didn't get to play the game, you know, when it was new, uh, pretty fun game to check out. It's $30 on PSN. Uh, I believe it's on Steam as well. Rollback netcode. Uh, and it's a pretty Wild West game, so we're going to be getting into it. Looks like we have the arm and Xenon stepping up. We have some heavy hitters off the bat. Players getting set up here. Uh, reminder, Ignite Skokie, uh, we're here every Friday for FGC meetups. Uh, we run three official games each week, thanks to the boys at Low Kick Esports taking care of the TOing. Going to be having my buddy Chris Chaos joining me here in a moment. Yeah, I'll tell you if I recognize the two-year super, uh, Neil Karsh. I don't, I, I don't know what this game does anymore. Fair enough. All right, what's up, Chris? Hey, hey, what's going on? Long time no see. Yeah, help. thanks for helping me hold it down today because we're going to take a little trip down memory lane. It's oh, been, yeah. uh, what, probably a solid seven, eight, eight? seven, eight years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last version came out in 2014, 2015, I think. Yep. Keep in mind, this is uh, 2.5, I think, which we never actually got. Yeah, we did not get the arcade version here, so we got the most recent update with the game here. And... Uh, a lot of people have been uh, messing around with it uh, for the past couple days here. Yeah, other than uh, other than last night, uh, this is pretty literally, if you did not go to Japan and play this like on an Eska cab, you just never played this version of the game. Oh, yeah. Well, luckily for us, we have Nesica Cabs in Yeah, yes, we do have so, a couple round ones. Yeah, so I did get a chance to touch a little bit of it before they came over here, but like I don't go to round one that often. So, But, yeah. If you were, did not have an Essica cab or round one near you or didn't go to Japan, you did not touch this version of the game, more likely. Now, how different balance-wise is this version from what we had? We had what, 2.0, 2.1? Yeah. So, like, uh, this version here is, um, like, it's, the balance is a bit more spread out. Uh, obviously, with the more the inclusion of shadows here, they kind of mix up the meta uh, a lot here. Especially now that they have a burst in this game. A functional burst. So, a lot of folks is like it's more of like a picking your flavor here. Uh, obviously, the shadow versions of most other characters, from uh, my knowledge here, are usually better than the standard ones. Yeah, now the, the shadow characters, if I remember correctly, they carry over meter to the next round. Not in this version. Oh, okay. Yeah, they took that out. So the the shadow chia threat of mutual destruction is no longer there. Or? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Remember, they get meter much easier than the, the, the than standard, standard version. character. So they can definitely get the hundred meter very fast. But there is no, I'm gonna hold my meter and kill you in the one round, and then the next round when I touch you, you die. There's none of that. Um, now, can she do that still? By, get, by doing enough uh, damage and damage uh, combos? Absolutely. But it's not as easy as it was um, for the previous version. Yeah, the, the arm uh, showing off some of the cheap stuff off the bat that will take you a little while to remember. Narukami DP, super cancelable when he lands, even on block. Able to. Zenith did a good job waiting it out, but. Still kind of fell in the end. Thank God I remembered today, like last minute, about the where the round markers <laughs> were to like make a scoreboard that fit the round markers. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a little weird in this game here. But yeah, this is around the era of time frame where like you no know, UIs were very funky and had a lot going on for them, and they were doing a lot of experimental things here. Not just that, but it's uh, Persona's a stylish game, right? That's what yeah. it's known for. The maintaining stuff like that, I think, was actually pretty important for. This is kind of one of the big, you know, IPs of another game, right? Not not an anime, but just another game franchise being converted to a fighting game. And we've seen a lot of that in the time since, right? We have a lot of popular games. Grand Blue, DNF are in there, uh, coming out now. Yeah, but yeah. But as we as we're talking, the arm ends up taking that first game there. Uh, just pretty much keeping it solid here. Uh, usually, uh, last time the arm was playing this game, they were playing Margaret. But um, yeah, you know, I I thought Narukami's kind of a, a vanilla character compared to what the arm normally plays. So maybe just didn't have a lot of time and went well, with the, a I simple mean, character. I mean, Narukami is king. 
Yeah, he's, he's strong so, too, right? Yeah. Like he is probably he is easily one of the best characters in the game. So. If you want to ease into a competitive state quickly, sometimes picking a top tier is the in fact the answer. Yeah. Like I mean, I highly suggest anyone who plays this game who want to get into it. Yeah, look into a top tier. There's a couple of them, so don't worry about it. I, re I recommend for most games, unless you already have an established archetype too, pick the main character Shoto and learn with them and then branch out to another character after you know the game. Oh, yeah. But this one, if you pick the Shoto, you might not leave. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, got a burst here? Uh, burst is kind of early. Had a lot of life going for them. Not sure about that choice, but. Yeah. Pretty right. light B and B there. Gonna get the grab reset. The arm is just checking it for a back. And. They are, and Zidane is getting called out for it. And the cancels come so fast in this game. The cadence of the combos oh. and the strings. Uh, I forgot how fast it actually is. What? Oh, baited it out. Was that a counter super? Uh, no, that was a super. It's just that they went the complete opposite direction. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so, well, first off, the arm dropped the combo there. We're trying to go for cross slash, but got a jumping, uh, jumping C instead. But... They were able to like, clutch it out here. All right, but uh, the army's on last one here. Uh, Zanan, uh, got to play some defense here. Uh-oh, falls out the piece of damage. So that's a 5C starter. Okay. Out oh, Ooh. big punish, yeah, oh, good burst. Good burst, that was going to be a one more burst combo with the death, so good call. Got to be very careful here. But now I've got only two Persona cards. Again, oh, and just to thing that. Oh, a chance, here you go. Nice, oh, oh, not quite pick up. All right, good back dash on the TV, and unfortunately, 5B the god. And the arm will take that first game there. Yeah, it's a fast-paced game. I, I, I think we, you know, we see a lot of high damage games, I think, currently. Like, it's pretty common in modern games. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean the pace is fast, right? right? Like, there's a lot of games that are explosive without necessarily being fast-paced. What's up, buddy? Hey, and, uh, uh, Jinsoku's yeah. sitting down. Yep. See here? Whoop. Uh, not quite familiar with their opponent here. I've seen the face. Not familiar with the name, though. See here? But that's what Who's we that? got. That's uh, actually Pinecone, uh, Ramlethal player from Strive. Oh, oh okay. Never mind. I, I was looking at the guy that was just sitting down. I'm oh, that is. Yeah, Zinni just hadn't got up yet. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, but this is Pinecone. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Pinecone was uh, fairly new to the scene here. Uh, pretty much uh, got into the community with Strive here and uh, decided to go ahead and get the Ultimates. Not sure how much history they have with the game on their own. Uh, but yeah, like, it should be very interesting here. Uh, I know that Jinsoku's playing show like Minazuki here. Okay. Um, so I'm wondering what Pinecone's choice is going to be. So, like, they play Ram in, in Strive, but, like, it's not really, like, a Ram-esque character. Yeah, you know, uh, I was looking at the cast, trying to think of, like, who I would, who I would try based on, like, who I play now. And, you know, obviously Mitsuru, like, sort of makes sense other than, than having charge moves. I know the charging is pretty fast, but the archetypes in this game aren't, like, as kind of linear as they are in most fighting games, right? There's not, like, the super well-defined, this is the Shoto and this is the Grappler. There's there's yeah. a, a lot more varied tools kind of across different characters. And we're getting another Shadow now, though. All right, so we're going to get another display of Shadow Mountain. Uh, I know that uh, Jinsoku has been playing the game, you no, know, even before the this version came out, pretty much uh, rushing up on the PS4 version uh, with a couple other folks like, you know, uh, Terralith, uh, no, no, Crab, and, uh, and, and, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting his name. Oh my goodness, sorry. Uh, Shaiken. So that, that's why I've been playing since, like, before this game came out. We're getting prepped up. Also messed around with uh, a little bit of the 2.2 uh, version, the uh, arcade hack. You can see Minazuka definitely a Jinsoku character. Uh, Jinsoku's, uh, he, he likes Rushdown. He's a very aggressive character for the most, uh, player, rather. Oh, wow, part. what an answer. Oh, yeah, can I say I, I think that. Maybe got surprised that it even worked and wasn't ready for the conversion. Got a yellow beat there. I don't know if what's the 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 noun. It's not a beat. Uh, uh, I mean, they, they call. I mean, we call them yellow beats. Though. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. All right. Yeah, I guess the side switch. Trying to stay back by the corner and gonna mash out of the block string there. Jinsoku taking the first round. Yeah, Jinsoku just able to get started. Uh, Pinecone just not able to get any type of footing going. Just a couple interrupts here and there. Oh yeah, like, tried to back dash to make some space and just got clipped. Yep. Jinsoku on him, on them immediately. And yeah, Pinecone. just running the pressure. Pinecone's gonna have to play some defense. Unfortunately, ended up with the jump low. 
Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Oh. Oh. It's a counter, but yeah. Maybe. Ah, I got Unfortunately, it. it didn't work out. Yeah, unfortunately, block low at the last second there. And Shizuka takes the first round. Yeah, the mix, uh, the mix comes at you fast with Minazuka. I mean, he's a very mobile character, uh, very rushdown heavy. And you can see the overhead sneak in pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, like, you know, Pygo needs to be a little bit more mobile here. It's just Shizuka just able to catch him so too fast. All right, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, uh -huh. you even saw Pinecone backdashing to try to make space, but I think maybe misjudged the range of Minazuki. He seems like a short range kind of brawler, but he, he's kind of not. He's more mid range, more like a Line, I think, kind of. Like Good block. Definitely a mid range master here. Uh oh. Oh, got caught by the projectile there. Right here, want that. Want the pressure. That's the overhead. High and low. Very hard to deal with. That's one of the reasons why you want to be mobile against Minazuki. You don't want to. And he's deal. already back in. Yeah. You do not want this character, no, getting anything started. You want to be moving around, calling him out for big, taking aggressive approaches. Um, all right. All right. Good uh, reaction to the teleport there. Back ash in the other direction. Oh, wasn't ready for the counter hit. Uh, yeah. right, there we go. Auto combo. All right. It's a big counters here. Yeah, the way that, um, no, for those who are unfamiliar with Naoto, the way she has a, a, a mechanic, which she has fake counters. Well, you see those skulls over there? The, she's trying, her whole main mechanic is to get the skulls to zero, so she can hit you with one of two, well, one of the two supers, but if your skulls are at zero and it actually hits you, you instantly die. <laughs> you lose, you end up losing the round. Yeah, similar to BB Tag, it's just she, she has it more options, more routing because of both supers being available. Oh, the overhead. Uh oh. Yeah. All right. Nice. One more burst. Ooh. Don't okay. think he's going to kill, but this is. Ah, drops. No, but resets and teleport to maintain the corner. I like the thinking about the positioning there. Yep, unfortunate burst. Does not burst and gets grabbed. And just so we'll take that first game there. So we'll move on. Pinecone, unfortunately, he's not able to get anything going, unfortunately. But, I mean, that'd be like that sometimes. Yeah, uh, maybe just not ready for the speed. I mean, it's okay. I mean, he was just in his grill. Like, is it round start? Something you can see sometimes the aggression with the teleport uh, mm -hmm. on Jinsoku's in as a means of, like, I want in now. Because even if they block the other direction, they still need to be ready for the sequence that's going to come mm -hmm. after it. Also, we got to take into consideration, a lot of folks are, like, prob play, probably playing this game for the first time as well. So, yeah, like, Jinsoku's pretty familiar with Persona, just like the arm is. So. So, like, there's a couple of folks who've been, who are familiar with the game and they're just having to get their feelers out for, like, you know, the, the new version. Like, as I was just speaking of that, we have Turlith coming to step up here. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, not Turlith. Uh, but, yeah, I saw looked over. I saw him and lost my mind. But, yeah, we have Wukash stepping up, who, last, if I remember correctly, last time played Ken and Yukiko. So, uh, we're going to see one of those two characters unless they went decided to go ahead and do a complete 180 on us. Um, so let's take a look and see what happens here. And uh, their opponent will be. Uh, it's going to be Trade War. Uh, newer player uh, involved, I believe, with the uh, fighting games at UIC. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, not UIC, Northwestern. Northwestern, okay. Okay, nice. Been a uh, couple of folks out here. Let's see here. I see, Persona brought a lot of people out, so I'm well, very glad to see that. So, all right. Yeah, Trade War uh, coming on recently for Grand Blue and then kind of branching out to multiple anime games. Uh, Wukash, uh, he's a young looking guy, but he's been playing anime fighting games for actually a pretty long time. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Very experienced player in Plus R, in uh, Exerd. Exerd, yeah. Uh, Blaze Blue is a Mane player. Mm -hmm. uh, also played a lot of Soul Calibur, if I remember correctly. Yep, that they did. See? But yeah, very well versed fighting game player. Been around for quite some time, and uh, no, very well versed in the games that they want that they enjoy playing. So this is, I think, oh, are we getting? I think it's wild that we are at a, a stage where somebody could have come in with uh, Persona 4 Arena as their first fighting game, and at this point, they would be a very experienced fighting game player yeah. who's been around for a long time, right? Yeah. This is. Uh, this is, I think, the the original version was maybe 2013 around yeah, there. Yeah, it was around 2013. This is nearly a 10-year-old game uh, if going by the base. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's been quite some time. Uh, but, yeah, it looks like we either this is a button check or we got ourselves a YouTube oh, filmier. Okay, Trey, we're playing on the, the GameCube controller with a converter. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see. Yeah. I like that. If you play Smash 2, why not, why not find a way to have, like, a, a single controller solution? Fair enough, yeah. I'm with that. That's a good idea. 
Yeah, Yukiko Mirrors, good sign for a button check, as is the round start burst. Oh. Um, you know, I, I honestly can't tell. This looks like a real string. This real. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we had mentioned that Wukash being an Amani player, the way Yukiko functions is not hella different from Amani. Uh, able to establish similar pressure at similar ranges. Yeah. Okay. Right, awakening. All right. We're in a little bit not going to get a chance to use it, though. Wukash mm -hmm. taking a pretty fast round one here. Yeah. Well, yeah, that round start burst is kind of this, like, you know, like, probably threw them off uh, rhythm here. Okay, so, all right. Probably tried to make a gamble there, but now we're playing. All right. Good. All right, trade water. So much taking your time here. Playing with your life lead. Mukash forces to call that. Oh, trade water. There. Yeah, Mukash falling back. Yeah, gonna stock up some heat there. Yep, get her levels up. See here. I want to make sure that she doesn't, like, you know, level 6 and up is uh, very scary. So is Awakening, though. 80 meter on Trade War side. Yeah. See here. See, Wukash, Wukash sneaking in. I, I like that, right? If you're in a zoning battle, sneak in the levels while you have the life lead to eat a couple fans. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wukash is win the full screen war. That should be the game because that's level 9. Yep. Because pretty much eats right through that. So Wukash will take the first game here. Okay. Because like, it seems like there's a little bit of a wild start here. Um, let's see here. So let's see what Treywater does and making adjustments here. See, they were just playing a little bit slower than Wukash. So, that's, um, so they got to like, learn, get an idea of getting that space. I mean, they tried to move forward right away, try to close the gap. Wukash was just sort of ready with the button. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I like this. Trying try to match the stocks at least. Don't let him get that giant advantage in heat. Exactly. All right. Gotta block the mix though. It's oh, hard to see. Force of burst. Yeah, Lucas is down to one Persona card now. They gotta be very careful. Oh. Yeah, and still right. using the Persona pretty liberally does get a fatal for it. Oh, there it is. Persona yeah, Persona break. Lucas. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I didn't need them anyways. I'm going in. Yeah, you guys have decent pressure, it, especially in the mirror match. Like, not the uh, Yukiko cannot really contest too much against. The yeah, not a, not a character that has like a normal invuln DP to mash out of the pressure the way other characters could. Yeah. So Trey, uh, well, it's looking like Wukash would have taken that round there, putting them on match point. Okay. Uh, a run up gold burst gets the meter. Wukash ends up getting eight levels for the gold burst. Okay. Yeah, and this is match point for Wukash. This is looking like a rough situation for Trade War. Yeah. Good block in the overhead, but not the low. Mm -hmm. All right. Fatal, but unfortunately, it doesn't work out. Oh, oh stuff's happening. <laughs> yeah. See? Trade War just not really. Okay. Gets out of the situation. A little something started. A little, a little slow pace. Yeah, good happen. placement with the counter zoning, but it's again, it's just a mix, right? As soon as he gets locked down, he's just kind of getting opened up. Wukash is running the pressure. Yeah. And that's going to be the game. Oh no, never mind. Still alive. No chance. Oh, Trey Water gets in there. Pass the block and gets hit with a little fireball there. And that will be it. Wukash advances with a 2 0. Man, man, I actually think a lot of these folks are. See? Yeah. Yep. So, looks like we got a. Uh, no, we're just going to talk about TL over here. Just giving them uh, updates here. Uh, so yeah, I believe we're going to have uh, Shaikan, who you would mentioned, also been grinding the game. Also someone who had uh, played uh, a pretty wide variety of anime games recently. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe they are marked as the next match. Mm -hmm. uh, I see them walking up, so let's see them stepping forward. Yeah, it's going to be uh, Demonica on the player one side and Shaikan on the player two side. All right. So yeah, Shaikan plays Ken, and, um, well, Funny thing is, is that uh, we are well versed in the Ken matchup over here, seeing how we have um, Wukash playing them back in the day, and also Axis would come up every once in a while to show up to our locals and play with, the, with us with that game as well. Um, and uh, so. And speaking of uh, characters that we're familiar with, I see a Yukari on the side of hey. Demonica. Uh, Chris Chaos next to me, one of the premier Yukari players back when this was an active game, so. Mm -hmm. yep. Gonna have plenty of knowledge in this one. Yes, so. 
Yukari is still pretty much basically the same. She has a couple of new combo routes that are a little bit, bit more stable and uh, some, are, some that gives her a little bit more damage. Um, as for knockdown stability, you have to give up a little bit of uh, corner care, a little bit of carry here to get that. But uh, overall, she is definitely a much better character in this game. In this game, they gave her some high quality boss, especially with the feather, the feather arrow now putting you in spin state now. Mm -hmm. so easier conversions, mm -hmm. get a little bit of a longer uh, float there. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, makes the things a lot easier and a lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, and the new Garo orb buff as well, with uh, them go like the D orbs going further out than uh, they used to. But this matchup. Oh, well, say I gotta go ahead and play a match here. Step on out. All right, Chris gonna hop off to play some Strive. So we're gonna have Shiken against Demonica coming up. Whoops, 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 whoops. Yeah. Mars gonna be joining me here. There we go. Got the names updated. What's up, buddy? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. This, this game is all new to me, but. Yeah, so I'm did you play this when this was a current game then? Or was that before you were like really playing fighting games? You would have been like literally like nine, right? <laughs> no. I was uh I was born in 1999, bro. Okay. <laughs> so I was like probably twelve when this came out. Yeah. Same but, thing. Um, I Basically was playing, the same. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> I the only reason I didn't play this game is because I was, I had, I just played Capcom games and I heard of it and I was like, eh, why would I play this? You Looking back, I, I missed. I, it was a missed opportunity. Yeah, I, I definitely think you'll enjoy this game. Uh, pretty wild bust, especially offensively. Uh, honestly, my only complaint about the game was more. Uh, I'm not huge on box layout, like controller layout. So I had to, to work out kind of a funky layout that was closer to like a, a traditional Blaze Blue type B, right? An A B C and then D on the yeah. thumb. I was gonna play this game on stick, but I know uh, I. I think it's a good pad game. Yeah. Yeah. No. The the way the buttons you have to set it up is very strange. Also, it's just uh, macroed actions are really good in this game, right? Being able to have uh, single button commands yeah, one and button DP. A very fast game there. Yeah, that was fast. But yeah, let's get back to the Yukari. We got that. Yukari is a typical zoner versus Ken, which is kind of like a rush down puppet character. Yeah, I had the name swap there. Shaiken, I believe, up 1 0. Let's see this. Yeah, round start. Uh, I think it was JB. Yeah, I don't even know the buttons, honestly. Uh, um, it's it's like it's typical Blaze Blue layout. It's like A B C D. I just yeah, more that I, I remember C and D are the Persona normals, right? Like uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I couldn't remember if it was A and C were the regular normals and uh, B and D were the Persona normals. Yeah. Also, damn, look at the zoner. Zoner's kind of cool. Yeah, unfortunately, good spacing of the air dash though. Shai can get in up top. Ba almost made out the burst. He actually had the empty jump there, but oh. whoop! I don't even know what just happened there. Blocking. There is a lot going on. Because I'm still not familiar with the game, but I'm starting to get it. But yeah, Yukari is a puppet a puppet character with a dog. You control the dog simultaneously, not only for combo extensions, but in neutral. You can hit the dog to, like, to get rid of it, almost like, kind of like Zato. Yeah, except you feel worse because it's not like a slime well, yeah, monster. A dog. Yeah. That's, the, that's the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shaikin takes on the exit game. I think this is a uh, match point, right? Yep. Match point. All right, let's see this. All right, so we got we got uh, Demonica zoning. Oh, fortunate trade for Sorry. Demonica here. Gonna force Shaiken back out. Finally, actually able to get some zoning going. And I like this approach with the air arrows. Uh, Wait, that was punishable? Wait, he uh, punished the zoning. What? Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, maybe a little too close. No, but I didn't think you can. Is that, there must be a way to make that save. It can't be the norm. Also, damn, look at this. Nice routing, gonna close out with the super here. No, it's not not quite enough, yeah. Because in Awakening, you get it like, like in Gramble Guts. Yeah, it does the same thing with Guts here. All right, fast work for Shaiken. Moving on in winners. Wow, look. Ooh. Both of them are a little surprised there. Yeah, they're like, damn, this game's fast. No, this game's really <laughs> quick. But like, it, I don't think it's unreasonably fast. It's not faster than I plus think R. It is it's as fast as many older games. I, I was talking about that with Chris earlier, where I think that the newer games are very explosive, but the pace isn't necessarily super fast, right? There'll be slow games, slower games with bigger damage. Uh, so they'll be very volatile, but they're not necessarily going to just be zoom in through. Uh, up next, though, I believe we have Ike Sheamus. Yeah, and Ike Sheamus. Yeah, he made second at FF. Rossi Fauci for this game. I was in the past version, though, but, like, 2.0, it does a lot of balance changes going on. Um, he's probably going to play Mitsuru. And we have uh, this. 
Unlearned, uh, newer player. Uh, if I recall, they started with Strive. Uh, they've been playing a bunch of stuff recently, though. Yeah, I haven't seen them around yet. I don't know the name. Yeah, they just started coming like a month or two ago. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see how they go. Let's see this performance. But yeah, um, actually, have you tried, have you tried playing this game yet? I have not played this since it was a new game. No. Well, um, I I, I like downloaded it this morning. I went into training mode and then I had to go into a meeting. Oh, okay. Who do you try? Who do you want to play? I'll probably just play Narukami. I, I thought so. Yeah. I, I was yeah. I was thinking about Mitsuru, but she does. You know, the Kujua is a, a charge in this game. It's not like uh, a quarter circle move. Yeah, it's uh, a little weird. And if I have to like get, I don't know. Narukami's a very normal Shoto who's also very strong, and I don't see a good reason to not just do that. Yeah, yeah. He's not top one anymore, though, but he's still strong. But, uh, yeah, uh, Mitsuru... Mitsuru, I would compare, similar to uh, Parasol from uh, Skullgirls. Yeah. Also, they share the same English voice actors, fun fact. I did play um, I did play Narukami when this was a current game, though. Oh, that, you that did? is the only character oh, I played when it was... Oh, then stick with that. Say yeah. what you know already. I wouldn't say I knew it. It was like... Uh, at the time, the only game I would say that I understood was like Street Fighter 4. Like, I got how you were supposed to play Street Fighter 4. This game was definitely a way faster pace than I was ready for. I think maybe I would do a little bit better at it now with more experience. But yeah. at the time, I was like, leave me alone. Why are they? Why am I in a block string so quickly all the time? Well, I would say this. Uh, I would treat this game very similar to Blaze Blue with extra mechanics. Yeah. Because uh, this game carries mechanics not only from Guilty Gear. But uh, Blaze Blue as well. Yeah, I think if you've played Arxis games, especially the older ones, uh, you'll, wow. you'll have a pretty easy yeah. time fitting in. I Seamus, though, has the corner immediately. Good side oh, yeah. switch. Passes DP but... in the game belongs to her. Man, that's 10 frames. Which, to us, is not, that's not really slow. Those it depends. Yeah, it depends. Uh, to me, it depends on what's the recovery on normals, right? Like, can yeah. you safe jab it or not? That's when I determine if a, a DP is slow or not. Can uh, you easily safe jump it? Oh, reset into the grab. Yeah. Oh, look. Look at this conversion. Yeah, but when I first saw Mitsuru growing up, um, I thought I didn't think she was going to be a charge character. The way she plays does not look like a charge character She's at kind all. of a hybrid. I think that Kuja might actually be the only charge move. I heard, I don't remember if her DP is like a DP. No, input. it's, it, a, it's, it's a one two, button. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a, a macro. This is uh, a game that is... I'm oh, what game had the the one? Well, I guess Granblue has one one button DPS if you're counting the skill button. But this actually has uh, more like BB tag, where it just has the two button input that is your reversal. Mm -hmm. The patience yeah, there's here, a reason the why um, the Persona characters in BB tag were real adapted because um, a lot of mechanics of BB tag they just kind of work for the Persona characters. Feel bad for the Blaze Blue characters though. It but feels anyway. like real Persona because uh, most of them are strong, and then I forget Kanji's in the game. Yeah, apparently Kanji's bottom one, but I don't know. I, I refuse to believe that, but I digress. <laughs> anyway, that's first game. Ike Seamus takes it. All right, let's see how, let's see how uh, our man unlearned, unlearned? Unlearned. Unlearned. Like unlearned? Yeah, like you unlearned uh, something. Oh. <laughs> well, here we go. All right, let's see how unlearned adapts. But yeah, um, this character plays like a very this heavy footsie style. Yeah, Mitsuru is definitely one of the, the, at this point, you would consider them like one of the footsies gods of anime games. I mean, she's just got got everything you need. The giant mid-screen normal, the advancing, the thrust right there yeah. that can be made safe as long as you space it. Yeah, another thing, actually, Mitsuru is actually considered one of the best characters in the game, too. So if you want to look for, look for a strong character. Yeah, she's been her. strong in every version of the game as far as I'm aware. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, unlearned. Okay, okay, you got a red burst, but yellow gold burst. Full meter, what's it Oh, no, frozen. It? Full screen, oh, though. No. Nice over. conversion. Oof. All right, all right. All that meter, 150 and awakening. Yeah. I, I, that could be a game changer if you know what you're doing here. Anyway, let's, let's see. Okay, good punish. Actually, no, that was, was that a punish? I no, it was a counter hit. What? I, don't, I don't believe it's counter hit recovery on that move. I think uh, I tried to steal a turn. Got a little frisky there. Yeah. Okay, Kudora. That, uh, you know what, last time, that was actually the same trade that kind of bodied Ooh. on Learn last round, trading with the ice. Uh, this time, didn't get kind of the, the status Ooh, what debuff. What was that? Was that um? Alpha I think it was counter? a guard council, yeah. Wait, that did damage, though. That's strange. Oh, good block on the overhead. Oh, Not on the oh, DP, DP, though. Wait. It can combo off it. Yeah, super cancelable DP. Yeah, this character's great. <laughs> that's, 
that's kind of normal in this game too. Having a DP that you can like late cancel and do oh, a super. Wait, yeah, you can. I'm that, I'm not used to that idea, man. Not even like well, actually, in Street Fighter you can, but like not many people do that. You in Street Fighter you don't have to worry about Ken doing a DP and then frame trapping you with super. Where Nor Narukami can totally do that. You can block his DP and then he can do a really late Zeodine cancel and you can get fucked for it. Yeah, I, that's a knowledge check that I'm not, I gotta get used to. I'm only day two in this game. So the arm's stepping back up, I uh, believe. Uh, going to be playing Ice Sheamus. Ice Sheamus is going to be staying on here. Oh, wow. It's going to be our uh, winner semifinal, our first match of top eight here. Wait, it's winner semis already? Yeah. <laughs> the how, many people, how many people joined this? 22. Uh, and That's I only decent. see two DQs. Yeah. So 20, 20 active players in the bracket. I'm a little confused how this DQ and this is a free bracket. Hmm. No, they probably signed up at home and just didn't make it out. Oh, okay. Like Seamus staying on the player one side, the arm who we saw earlier playing the Narukami coming back. Yeah. My understanding is this is sort of a new change for the arm, played a different character. Uh, Did he play a character before? The yeah, character? Uh, I forget who Chris said it was, but it wasn't Narukami. Uh, Narukami though, uh, the arm's a smart guy. He's a very smart player and 100%. he recognizes a busted character. And if you're not gonna put like a boatload of time grinding a game, I think it makes sense to pick a simple character who's also strong. Well, yeah, the character's not busted anymore. They actually, he actually got nerfed from, uh, from uh, 1.1. The game that everyone played before this release, that's 2.0. He's still really strong, though. He probably has the best uh, yeah, 2B I, in the game, the anti -air. I, I think Amazing. for sure. Uh, not just as an anti -air. I mean, 2B in, in neutral and as a frame trap, very strong button. Oh, my God, yes. Uh, easily, you can easily pick up from uh, slides. Yeah. Soft Ra knockdowns, yeah. Raging Lion as well. Uh, so that's what it's called? Oh, the the overhead. The no, <laughs> yeah, no, the, the, no uh, Ra Raging Lion is the uh, overhead. Uh. That Nobody's... It's been basically considered slow but unblockable forever. Nice anti on the DP. They are air unblockable, if I remember correctly. Go ahead. All right, Mars hopping off to play a match. FNTR are going right. to join me here. What's going on? I see how it is. Does he even have a match, or did you send him away so you can see He actually it? does have a match. Yeah. <laughs> he actually does, and he needs to play it. <laughs> All right. Looks like we've got... Armando playing Narukami. Uh, <laughs> this character is really like, just, I mean, there's not much else to be said other than that she's the god Shoto. Uh, yeah, ooh, nice two, two very strong, two very mm -hmm. straightforward, relative to a lot of the wild stuff in this game. These mm -hmm. are two very normal characters, just large, good normals. Yeah, I mean, they, they do a really good job at cashing out, right? Like, that's like, they're, they're very strong in the neutral. They don't have a lot of clear flaws. They more so just like play really, really well around a lot of the game's basic mechanics. And then they're able to cash out in the big damage if they get the right hits. Yeah, you see the OTG 2B there. Also, mm -hmm. pretty important once the pressure gets started, arguably the two best reversals in the game, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's what, Big Gamble, and then I don't remember the name of uh, uh, Mitsuru's uh, reversal, but they're both really, really good. The thing about Mitsuru's, though, I mean, she flies a little farther forward, and it's pretty easy to punish. I think the bars, thing about Big Gamble is it's actually not that big of a gamble as long as you have meter. Yeah, I mean, if you have bar, right, you can cancel. I mean, you can special cancel into supers. Kind of like Street Fighter. I think, like, special moves into a super. The, like, the cancel like, window is way later, though. Yeah, like, for oh, sure. Yeah, like, I mean, oh, yeah, you can. Good spacing. Woo! Got the counter hit. Didn't get the full conversion, but able to reset to mid-screen here. Trying to make use of these big 5C normals from Narukami. Ooh, nice overhead. Oh, yeah. yeah. RCs, but doesn't get the full route. Oh, yeah, going to keep yourself safe. Yeah, good block after the RC. Woo, good and DP. Yeah. Raging Lion, like I said, it's unblockable, but it's not undpable. For sure. It's not actually unblockable. It's an <laughs> overhead It's an overhead that is technically slow. If you looked at the number of frames that it's supposed to start on. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's your it's your gauntlet Hades, you know what I mean? Like Exactly, exactly. You should, yes, you should be blocking it, but you're getting hit by it. Yeah. Let's be real. Uh, reset and happens. Grab. Ooh, Ooh, this is, oh, no, no punish, on the punish, yeah. Nice block, yeah, so he was fuzzing out. We had mentioned how you can super cancelable reversal mm -hmm. even fairly late, especially if you have, like, an air super, mm -hmm. uh, which I think both of these characters, Narukami definitely can do Zeodine. Right? Yeah, right, he has but Zeodine, yeah. But if you can make a DP whiff, th that's it. They have to hold that punish. For sure. Ooh, Ooh DP back, yeah, DP super, get the Bufudine on there. Ice Mountain. Nice pick up after the wall bounce. No, it's going to be Hello. a drop. Yeah, got yeah, one more. Keep yourself enough safe. Meter. Yeah, one more. Keep yourself safe. I respect it. There was so much meter floating around. Mm -hmm. uh, Seamus taking game one, though. 
All right, going right back into it. Uh, we'll see if I'm on. I mean, a lot of this is really just shaking off rust, right? Like, I mean, these people, both these players have played this game before, but they need to kind of just shake it off and just go, okay, I just need to play neutral correctly and not drop as many, <laughs> as many routes, really. Yeah, and not just this game. I and mean, these are two very experienced uh, NBA players in general. Go knockdown off the slide. Uh, okay. The arm playing a little Damn. bit slower than he was last game. Nice air to air. Gets yeah. the, the classic Arxis counter hit air to air conversion, right? Oh, and especially with Narukami, I mean, his JTB, it's huge, right? It hits on both sides and it's just massive. You don't want to contest it. Nice block in the instant overhead. It. Oh, and the okay. counter hit 2B. Doesn't opt to go for a safe jump off that either. Just kind of wants to run up and just do stagger pressure. 5A, 2A. Hmm? Everyone's got a little Ragna in them, right? Little, yeah, just a little bit. Little this salary man run up to it. This, this character is like Ragna and Soul in like the same character. Oh, great oh, spacing on the jump in. That's a nice yeah. step too. Ooh. Oh! I actually don't even know what that status effect is. I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> he blocked it. Oh, oh the DP to and it broke his wow, persona. Wow, huge. that is disastrous. But that's he gets the hit. Doesn't have meter to convert yet. Yeah, can't. Oh, uh, yeah, you can't and do the any reversal. of that. Yeah. Wow, what? Clutch timing for the Persona break. That for turned real. things around. I Sheamus was actually going to be kind of in a rough spot there, but the arm had to play way differently yeah. just from losing the Persona. I'd like to see Armando use a little more uh, air mobility options. Use like air turn backdash. Uh, kind of, you know, mess up uh, like Sheamus' like anti air timings and such. Yeah, a bit of a drop there by Sheamus. Able to get a whiff punish. The arm gets out of the okay. corner. Yeah, not going to be able to get a convert from there. Could have had to do like an IED route. Okay. Ooh, that looks like a safe jump. Oh. That was a very late DP, still worked out. Ooh, okay, big, big whiff, that was scary. Armando, unfortunately, not able to capitalize in that spot. These two Bs, uh, I shame oh. this is whiffing a lot of them, and only one of them's really been punished so far. Good strike, throw, Tech. Strike throw. Okay, already in Awakening, oh, though. Jump in. Has so much meter, can cash out at any moment. You just have to be really careful, especially about her uh, grinding the X. Oh, that's a big punish. One more. Oh, you could have just hit it the cross slash. 5 CD slide cross slash. Wow, that's like that hit behind. <laughs> yeah, and Persona Normals do autocorrect in some spots. Oh, cross slash anyways, but it's going to whip. She's way up there. Oh, big gamble. So much meter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is definitely going to kill it, yeah. Wait, no, didn't have uh, Archimedes on there. The instant overhead, though? Yeah, no, didn't didn't oh, wow, just too far. Yeah, didn't have the ice for it, so what couldn't do it. What a scramble. Uh, looks like we should have... I know Wukash and Shaiken have should have finished up already, so it should be Jinsoku and winner of that. I'm going to go grab them really quickly. Cool. So I'll be right back. Wow, kind of a scrappy one there. Uh, actually, Amos had uh, a bit of a scramble caused by one of the moves in the middle of the Mitsuru combo actually just failed to reach. Uh, so he had that whiff there, and it kind of reset the situation when nobody was expecting it. Whoa. Yeah, my persona, uh, uh, it doesn't show up. It's probably high on the couch. I try to do a persona normal, and he's watching the fucking, I don't know, Scarlet Nexus anime or some shit. All right, so, yeah, Jinsoku and Wukash stepping up. <laughs> Yeah, that's the question, right, Rog? Is Willy my persona, or is it like Ken, and he's you know the the the, the pet? I don't think he would take kindly to being treated like a puppet, so it's probably the former. Alright, Jinsoku and Wukash gonna have Minazuki coming back up. Wukash was playing the Yukiko last we checked. Yeah, it looks like it's still there. There's flipping back out, double checking the buttons. I'm gonna try and fix this camera real quick.
I might need to go back and check out some of these Persona games. I, I admit I haven't given them the most fair shake in the world because the only Persona game I've ever played other than this one is Persona 1, uh, which is up there with Deadly Premonition and like top two or three worst games I've ever played. Uh, I heard they got way better, uh, but it was so bad that I was like, I'm never playing a game this company makes again. Zoku running the teleport pressure. Wukash using the chicken box here, trying to just keep back and be ready for the teleport. Oh, sort of was. You could see he, he adjusted to the teleport, but wasn't ready for the anti-air. Fatal counter on the overhead. Doesn't get the conversion, but Jinsoku still mauling in the corner here. Hard to get out for Yukiko. Looking for the mix here. Nice instant box. Wukash show finally gets a hit. Able to work out of the corner here. Gonna spend the super. Should get the side switch. Yeah, now has the corner positioning. Ooh, mash out super though. Found the gap. Jinsoku taking the first round. Wukash, uh, I like this. Kind of recognized that uh, standing back and trying to zone Minazuki out wasn't really working out, so we ran in a bit more aggressive, found the universal overhead. Yeah, and again, going in worked out. Uh, Jinsoku missed his anti-air. Witted out the projectile, but got caught trying to move after it. It's a pretty slow fireball. It's usually a good sign that it's plus. What are the overheads again? Is that the all-out attack? Is that uh, what the overhead's called? I forget what's what in this game. Oh, caught him on the other side and another cross-up. Gonna get the burst out. Wukash in a better position. Gonna spend some meter here, but super right back at you. Waited through the flash. Mitazuki's a little bit better offensively there. Jinsoku gonna take game one. All right, game two. Wukash opening up with a big Persona normal, kind of filling up the middle of the screen. Trying to just keep Wukash at full screen. The teleport going to close the gap. And on the other side, put himself into the corner, though. That's a good positioning switch. Wukash, though, tech buttons. Waking up, finds a hit on the normal. Going to get some space to work with. Not quite enough, though. There's a big counter hit. Bursts out on Wukash's side as well. All right, got clipped, trying to jump forward. Shinsoku with the corner combo, waits it out, gets the grab. Good block, didn't have the anti-air yet, but at least this time didn't get clipped. That's a big DP though. No burst available. Wukash, gonna spend some meter here. Again, gonna get the side switch. Whoa, never mind. Even at level two, that did a boatload of damage and he had 50 meters still to work with. Uh-oh. <laughs> That worked out, covered in front, covered in the anti-air. Has the Persona there for the meaty. If it'll work around the teleport as well. Wukash starting to put it together here. Good block in the overhead. Still trying to take his turn. That's going to be the hard part today, right? Like, not enough people have played this version to sort of know when they can take those turns. These neutral jumps in the corner so far for Wukash are helping getting him out of the situation momentarily, but this time not able to actually escape the corner. Awakening. Gonna get clipped though, has to burst. And the super gonna put it right back in the corner. Another projectile to finish. Bit of a jump back there from Wukash. Able to use the persona to get that ground back though and working towards the corner. Gonna get a level of heat here. Caught with the air to air, no conversion again. Wukash getting counter hit a few times here. Damage starting to add up already. This is match point for Jinsoku. Counter hit air to air, but he was jumping backwards. Gonna take away the ability to convert there. Kind of a high high too. There's a good anti-air. This time gets the conversion. Persona getting shot. All right, Awakening activated. 
Jinsoku with a little bit of a shikambo there. The third hit didn't make contact, but he just continued the string as if it didn't, was able to recollect it, and that should close it out. Jinsoku continuing to bulldog here, able to move his way to the winner's final. All right. Have a look at what our next match is. Uh, I think we might even just run the winner's finals uh, first because some of the people, I believe, caught in losers are also in the stride bracket. So uh, we're going to have multiple games going on here. Yeah, that's the case. Shinsoku sitting back down. Mike Sheamus also sitting down here. All right, getting set up for the winners' finals here. Should be a three out of five. All right, players are ready to go. Willie's ready to go. Winners finals underway. Minazuki against Mitsuru. Good choice on the song here. Right. Round open buttons from Jitsu, uh, from Mike Sheamus, rather. Able to get the poke in. Try to challenge you after the fireball. Again, that looks like a slightly plus situation for Minazuki. Mike Sheamus, though, pretty, uh, pretty comfortable, like, kind of just holding down the mid-screen neutral, not going in too hard, just using those big pokes. You can see a lot of it isn't actually converting because he's using the buttons at a range where the cancel to the next chain might sort of whiff, but kind of just chipping away. Jinsoku finding the gap. Gonna cash out a super here. All right, Sheamus is taking round one here. Again, approaching it really slow, and there it is. I believe that's 5B at round start again. Try to have the 2B anti-air. Whiffs, forces out the burst and the punish. Able to get the conversion here, though. Multiple free state. Kind of a cool thing about this game, uh, bringing in the different status effects from the RPG. Uh, a lot of characters will have different moves that'll kind of freeze you or confuse you or poison you. Uh, a lot of standard RPG status effects here. I shame as though getting his entire body didn't get baited out on the DP. Able to stab the Persona here, though. Jinsoku starting to run out of cards and kind of low. That was... Well, I don't actually understand what just happened. Super's right back at him, though. Able to get a little bit of a combo with Kudra off the freeze and the DP on the other side. I Sheamus evening up the game. I'm sorry, that's actually game one. Is it three out of five? Jusoku this time getting out of the range of that 5B, but again, the 2B, uh, Ike Sheamus has gotten in trouble for whipping that 2B a few times. This time it got him whip punish with a gold burst. 
I can say hold the pressure here. Yeah, is it a wild? 2022 BB Tag is getting spin off games with rollback. Oh, the throw caught the roll through attempt there. Opens him up with the low as well. Jinsoku a little light on meter right now. Gonna give up the corner positioning. Try to bait out the reversal as well, but jump back into it and another one there. Block the overhead, try to take his turn too early though. Aggressive super works out. Jinsoku getting a round up here. All right, mix-ups with the teleport, keeping it tricky. Yeah, I don't, I didn't even see what that move was. Nice anti-air on the other side. Gets a square hit there, gonna get the burst out. Spends the super to get some damage off the reversal action here. Oh, uh, landed on the other side. Tried to have the whip punish, but got a heads up play by Jinsoku. And Jinsoku gonna take game two here. See, uh, I mentioned a couple times that the, how fast the pace of the game is, not necessarily the damage. It's There's some big burst damage available in the game, but this isn't at its core like a massive damage game all the time. But it is a very fast-paced game. The cancels are very fast. You really got to be ready for the next situation. You got to be ready for the next movement option. Making decisions like when to burst comes at you very fast compared to something like Strive. You can see here, though, with a good starter, you can get a pretty fat combo. Going to be a solid 35% here. You draw, making uh, short work both of the Persona and stabbing through, punishing Minasuki as well. Minasuki finds the opening, though. Going to have the... I was about to say going to have the corner, but actually ended in the teleport. like to see him maybe find a knockdown. Oh, yeah, that's not safe. Cash out, does she get an OTG? Oh, close enough to the corner that she actually got the conversion, made it out the reversal as well to close it out. Uh, nice frame trap, a little bit of a delay. Stole the turn with the DP there. Ice Seamus being aggressive, not afraid here. Got clipped by the reversal from the Legend Soku though. Good movement. Waited for the air dash to turn around as well. Gonna get the air normal on the other side here. Working towards the corner. Good option. And Soku though finding the spot to mash out. Oh, the max range could draw. Making contact though. Did Soku forced the burst? All for not though. Ike Shamus gonna take game three here. Both players looking focused. Got another round start, 5B this time, backdashes, get the fatal counter, but bursting out worked out really well for Jinsoku. The burst hit on the other side, pushed like Sheamus towards the corner. He's still trying to work his way out. Great block on the instant overhead, able to take a turn, get the burst away from it. Now there's no burst available. And Jinsoku just hacking away, recognizing that he has the advantage. This time, though, pulling up, looking out for the reversal. Nice jump angle. The double jump, baiting out the throw. Nice fake out by X Sheamus. Good conversion in the corner as well. Has the meter. Too much scaling. No, she actually gets a combo. Wow, even the JB wasn't enough, but another one to seal it. Still a very fast overhead. Tonight is, uh, other than Persona, I believe it is Strive and KOF. Next week, uh, those two, uh, Strive and KOF, are two of the three games for pretty much the whole month. The third game uh, to close this out next week is going to be Grand Blue. All right, overhead opening up Ike Sheamus here. 
And the grab, I think that should seal it. No, too far. Ike has a chance to live in this round. Gonna get knocked out by the projectile, though. Nope. Round open gambit, whipped by both players. Fatal counter here, though. Not a lot to work with. Gonna just set up a safe jump. Ooh, yeah, that spacing was a little spooky. Jinsoku, great patience. Waited out both the reversal and baited out the burst with the jump cancel. Still pinned down in the corner, though. Does have his burst. If he needs to get out of pressure, he'll find a way, but able to do it with a poke. Carrying towards the other counter. Running the stagger pressure, but wake up throw works out for Ike here. Burst is out. That miss? Yeah, this is going to be a punish. No burst is available. Spends the super. Great damage. Running into the reversal, though. Tax on a little bit extra. Scary situation, yeah. That's going to do it. Ike taking it. Three to one. Going to move on to the winner's side of grand finals here. Let me move in back down to the loser side. Yeah, we're gonna to need to do some uh, losers matches. So uh, we can it, it looks like we're only one losers match away or, from top yeah. eight, anyways. So More yeah. or less, yeah. So we'll run Shaken and Mars. Yeah, Shaken and Mars on stream, and then after that, we the can other one should be done. Yeah. So we're basically More just in less. losers top eight. So. More or less, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go get them right now. All right, it's gonna be Shaken and Mars coming up next. While waiting for that, have a look at the boy holding it down in the studio. Big Willie, uh, you know, he's still still dealing with some health issues. He's, he's uh, being patient while we're giving him eardrops, uh, antibiotics every day. He's uh, starting to run from me. Feels, not going to lie, feels real bad uh, when, uh, when the cat's scared of you. Those are those are the most adult problems. No, Mars, it's you and Shiken. Christian. Yeah, I, I got it. Yeah, I messed up. Okay, 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 okay. Evan Tiara on top of it. The, the the bracket, the wrong winner got booped for a moment, but we're we're in there. Everything has been resolved. Play guy, uh, we had 22 entered, 20 of them uh, actually made it into the bracket. I think the other two didn't make it out tonight, but yeah, solid uh, 20 entrants for a Persona bracket in 2022. Life is weird. Players getting set up here. It's a first round losers match at top eight. We're gonna run through a lot of losers here. Uh, if you're just tuning in, we did just finish the winner's finals. We ran the winner's side a little bit early while some of the players and losers were caught up in the other two brackets in either Strive or KOF. It's hard running multi-game tournaments as a weekly when there's multiple good games out now. Like, you can't fault someone for wanting to enter two or three games. Mars coming through with the kanji. Uh, haven't seen a lot of this character in this version. Uh, kanji... Uh, the experienced Persona players in the area will definitely be familiar. Of course, uh, Grant, you know, Kanji, uh, Meme Lord of the U.S. I forget his official title. He had, he had some some title about Kanji and Meme, I think. But uh, Kanji, still sort of known as a weaker character, has been in most versions of Persona 4 Arena, as well as BB Tag. 
Uh, but definitely, if you're not ready for how he works specifically, he can catch you off guard. And Mars having a really good start so far. Finds the command grab. Close it out with a perfect. Yeah, the rest is top eight, so run the just run the rest on. Yeah. Have a TR helping coordinate the bracket here. Shiken helping coordinate the counter hits. Jumping back. Letting the dog do the work. Doesn't get the full conversion, but in a good spacing, making it very hard. You can see this is the issue against a character with the range like Ken here. The reversal action for Kanji just sort of doesn't matter. A lot of meter on deck for Shaiken. A lot of scaling here, though, as well, though. I don't think this will close it. Yeah, not quite, but that's going to do it. Uh, if it wasn't for the meter or the, the the blue health, the temporary health that he spent on the super, uh, we would have traded perfects back and forth there. Go first here for Shaiken. Sitting on a lot of meter now. What's he going to do with it? Yeah, keep in mind, Persona 4 Arena, uh, interesting wrinkle about it is invuln attacks in general, supers as well as your reversal action, uh, they actually cost a certain amount of recoverable health just to use them. So if you overuse them, you can't put yourself kind of in a dangerous situation. That blue health, you can see there, Mars tried to do a reversal there. If you go a decent amount of time without being hit, it will regenerate, but if you don't, you're going to lose that health in addition to whatever damage you take from getting hit. Wow, big damage. Caught him out of the air as well. Mars should take game one here. Fast turnaround off the big damage there. Volatility. I know I mentioned this isn't the biggest damage. Like, the average damage in this game is not crazy, but the high end is pretty big. Shaiken has the spacing that he wants, but runs into the reversal. That's the scary part, right? You want to go in because Mars is content to just down back you, but as soon as you get too close, he's got the reversal ready. Turned around the whole round right now. Forcing Shaiken to burst. Nice anti-air. Not that time, though. Big counter hit causes the stagger. Awakening. Oh, bad reversal by Mars there. Cost him a good amount of damage here. This time, Shaiken content to stay away. Nice. Didn't have the anti-air on deck, but did wait it out. Didn't get hit. Still living on a pixel. Able to get the burst out from Mars here. Shaiken has to be careful of the Persona. You can see it using the Persona special there. Moving them, zipping them around back and forth. All right, round start 5B, but Shaiken wasn't ready for the connect here. Four players, nobody really trading a full combo, just a couple straight hits, but able to armor through there. Yeah, these giant Persona normals, are you can see they're just kind of chunking away at the dog meter, knocking them out for a bit. He's still there, though. Help him get some anti-airs. You know, they're loyal. This this is where it becomes scary, right? So he just used the super to cash out his damage, but now he had spent, you know, about a third of his remaining health in temporary health. Oh, just kicking the dog. Kanji seems like the guy who would definitely, if the dog's, you know, acting up in his face, I think he might just boot the dog. Think this is it? Nope, not quite. Rolls through, able to avoid the reversal. Again, living on a prayer. This time, though, Mars doesn't have the time and space to work with to get that persona on the screen. Gold versus block doesn't have the punish on deck, but still has the corner positioning. Baits out the reversal, and Shiken makes the comeback. Oh, 
Oh, unfortunate there. Tried to poke it out. That stagger from the jump in is huge. I really like that. Uh, Mars, I don't know if that was the intent, but he used an anti-air button on the ground. There was no way that it would have made contact with Ken as an actual anti-air, but it did smoke the dog who was sort of off camera underneath him. All right, things looking rough for Shaiken here again. Burst is gone, I think. Yeah, that's enough damage. Mars gonna move on to the loser's quarters. Shaiken gonna go home in seventh out of 22. Not a bad showing for him tonight. Uh, as uh, Chris had mentioned earlier, uh, Shaiken, Jinsoku, Tarath, uh, a couple other players actually been grinding using the old PS3 version of the game. You know, getting getting back into how the game worked before worrying about the actual balance changes, which is I think is a pretty good approach. All right, so up next we should have our other losers side top eight, I believe. Yeah, gonna be Arsene against Zenon. Zenon coming back up. Uh hung in there, you know, round one match on stream, lost to the arm, but hung in there, clawed his way back, sitting in top eight losers. The name styled in here while we're waiting on the players. FMTR, I see him in the venue. Yeah, track down the players, sending them this way. Our set on the right and Zenon on the left. You got him? I think they're having a raffle for something in the back. You can probably hear the ham jams talking over the the PA. They are having a raffle. I would have entered something if I knew there was a raffle. What's what's the prize? Probably one of the things that is different about this game compared to most modern games. Uh, no sound on the rematch screen. As a streamer, it's something that always kind of messes you. It's very scary. You think you lost audio or something from the game. Or in the case of Plus R, Soul does any move and you the audio explodes and you think your mixer died because that's just how Soul sounds. Okay. Chris Chaos in Grand Finals is Strive, having a pretty good night. Let me know he's going to run that set and come join us for the end of this bracket. Sarsin, uh, looks like Narukami is the choice here. Zenin, uh, we saw him in the first match of the night, going with the Shadow Naoto. Players waiting out the uh, the raffle results, I think. Yeah. 
Oh, they're wrapped like half off a bar tab. Okay. I like those odds. You got you gotta like pre preemptively go in at the bar and then try to recover half of what you spent through a raffle. I this is the type of gotcha I could get into. Like yeah, it's not it's not the odds aren't in your favor, but the risk reward seems okay here. All right, underway here. Our Sam getting the first tip, has the corner positioning. Zanin falling back, trying to get some space to zone. Able to get the air to air. Oh, nice 2B there. All right. Oh, welcome back, having a good night in stride so far. Yes, sitting in grand finals right now. Nice. Can't complain. All right, but we got some persona going on. Where we got Lucy Top 8? Okay. Yeah, right back, uh, I, I think, where you left off, uh, Narukami against now. So. <laughs> Gators are pretty popular today right now. Yeah, Zena, though, had a pretty good run so far. I mean, you, we saw him lose first round to uh, the arms Narukami, but here he is sitting in top eight. Yeah, very nice. All right. Fortunately, he gets to uh, put in the corner here. Dealing with Narukami pressures, it can be very hard, especially for a Naruto. Like, you really much only have, like, the counter DP, so... You have to be very cerebral how you want to use it. Otherwise yeah, and counter reversals in Persona are not mega strong compared to like a traditional TP, in my opinion. I think that there's all kinds of situations where you can activate them where they won't necessarily hit, things like that. Yeah, the only good counter DP, in my opinion, in this game is uh, Chie's. Yeah. But that's about it. Everyone else is kind of like, eh. Wait, Meanwhile, Narukami, you know, has a main character. Uh, he he has double the protag privilege because he's the protag in two games, right? He's yeah. the main Shoto character in this as well as just like the protag of actual Persona Four. Exactly. Like. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know. It's like Kirito, right? Like, how do you fuck with that, right? Dual wields too strong. What do right. you do? Exactly. So, got, got, got to make do. But right now, uh, Zanan is doing a pretty solid job. But as soon as I say that, it's yeah, you know, he. Oh, good DP. He actually ran up and baited the DP uh, for the first time, like ha had a really hard bait on the DP. He just was wrong that time. And Arsene wasn't afraid to wake up with buttons. And Xana did block, but it just put him in a bad situation. He was in a block string on his own offense. Yeah, that's the, well, the good thing about Narukami DP is that it's very uh, vertical. So it's not really going forward too much. So you can come up with like some finesse bait, uh, some finesse baiting with movement to try to get the uh, DP to whiff. He gets your punches that way because you can't super cancel on whiff. Yeah, and there is uh, there is advanced blocking in terms of there being instant blocks. But there's not like a, a barrier necessarily, so you you can just run and cancel your dash in a block. Like you just roll up on him and block. That you can. Oh, nice! A little bit of a whiff punish on the persona, taking away one of those cards, but. Fortunately, gonna get pushed back in the corner. Have to fight it out. Uh, oh, oh try to challenge. Plus. That's yeah. plus. You can't challenge there. Gotta be careful. Oh, and just the super delay. Uh, Arson running good frame traps here. All right, good get out of the corner ASAP. All right, well, you got to use a burst. That puts yeah, you that late in a round. Yeah. That, 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 that's a reasonable win. Yeah. Like, you know, you go into the round, like, you have burst advantage. Like, um, you can definitely work, work with this. All right. Couple counter hit. Oh, wasn't expecting that counter hit. Went for the grab, but he was in hit stun still. Not quite ready for the all out attack. Good block. A drop there. Narukami 5A, the god. That's all out attack. Oh, didn't get the fatal launch. Oh, let me take those. Nice pick up. Nice pick up. A little bit of Yoli, but we all learn in the game right now. It's fine. It's a reset to the grab. Falling back into the zoning. Gotta be careful though, a lot of meter on this side. Pretty easy for him to just zeodine through some shots here. Yeah, I, I would like them to do some more uh, shadow mechanics here. Just, yeah, okay. Yeah, it sort of feels like he's just playing Nato, right? Yeah. That's what you might as well. Like, yeah, you might as well take the character that's designed for it. Yeah, you're not carrying a meter over anymore in this game, so you might as well use it. Nice back dash, still in the corner. Great escape. Put some tap for defense. This is a good position, yeah. Oh, nice. Well, didn't have to go in, but it worked out. Yeah. I, I sort of like that he 
didn't go in hard. He just reclaimed the space back to mid screen so that he wasn't in the corner. That's totally fair and understandable. All right. Good nice. challenge. Fortunately, yeah. drop there, but still maintain position. Okay. All right. Oh, that's not good. Well, this is only a jab combo, so. Oh, there we go. Nice throw in the corner. All right. Got more stagger with the grabs. Ooh, bait. Ooh, big bait. Oh, it wasn't there in time for the punish. That would have been a nice fatal counter combo yeah. in this situation. Optimal situation is definitely to get the reversal to whiff, not to be blocked. Yep. Oh, yeah. And of course, if you if you don't remember, if you're in shock state, you cannot move. You can only hop, roll, or DP. Yeah. Uh, Zinnian is fighting on tournament life. And oh, Raging Lion. Yeah. Raging Lion from the moon. The air version, too. Yeah. So, unfortunately. It, uh, put, that's that going to do it. Uh, no, yeah. two out of three. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Yep, that's it. So, Arsene will advance. Zinnian uh, Zinnian is out. Let's see here. It was a very good showing towards yeah. the end there. Started making adjustments. Um, yeah, and seventh, again, for losing your first match and still coming back and finishing in seventh place, you can tell he had a pretty good yes. night otherwise. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh. See, well, uh, hope to see them it, it just feels bad to lose both your losses on stream and both to the same character. Yeah, like uh, that is unfortunate. So let me look at the loser bracket. Oh, Armando and uh, Mars is in loser's bracket. Yeah, that's actually going to be our next match, our loser's quarters. Oh, shoot. So, okay. I missed out quite a bit being very busy with other games here. See? This game moves pretty quickly as well. Have a look at what we have left. So Arsene moving on 2-0 over Zen, and they're going to go up against Blue Cash, but first going to be the arm against Mars. Uh, now, Narakami versus Kanji. Narakami has very good con space control to deal with uh, a lot of Kanji stuff. Um, Kanji has to take a lot of risks to get things going. Okay. Okay, okay. so we're actually going to run Wu Cash and Arsene first. Uh, the arm caught up in the Exert side tournament. Yep. No. Have a lot of uh, brackets going on right now. So we got Strive, KOF, Persona, as you see here. And we got uh, Exerd also on the side here. We got a little bit of Melty Casuals on the, on the other end over Yeah, there. three official tournament games every week are run by Low Kick, but also there's plenty of space if you're in the area. If you want to play something specific, come out, bring a setup. They allow you to run your own side tournaments. Uh, and, you know, there, there's plenty of space and plenty of people to do it. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Arsene oh, yeah, well, stepping back up. Hey, yeah, Cash. Yo, what's up, Curly? I see you. How you doing? But yeah, uh, I'm actually very happy that the game is back out. Um, I'm probably not going to compete anymore, but um, I will be playing the game casually and also doing a lot of combo stuff. I had a lot of people asking me about Yukari stuff and if I was going to get back into it, so I will provide content for the character. Um, and if I feel like it, I may enter a few locals if we have them again. But this time I was like, really wanted to focus on Strive tonight. Let's see here. Are there any uh, substantial changes like in a routing for you, uh, you know, adjusting to this new version of Yukari? Uh, well, it's a lot of dealing with like, you know, well, a lot of the changes really helped me out because uh, having D Garu go further out really helps out the zoning game. Um, confirms are a bit, a uh, little bit different because like, you know, she has so much free reign now with, uh, like uh, having a little bit more freedom with uh, Air, Air, uh, uh, JB now. Um, and I will say that you know, I'm also interested in seeing the Shadow version because that's the better version of her. So I'm kind of exploring with that when I barely did much touching uh, of that version in the previous game. In the previous game. So I will definitely be messing around in the lab uh, a lot over the weekend to, you know, since I'll be at home most of the time. Because I have the PC version. Unfortunately, I don't have the PS4 one. So. Mm, yeah. So, but yeah, but I'll be giving it a chance to see what's going on. Give it a shot. Now, have you got a chance to actually try out the netcode yet? I, I am not touching the netcode until rollback gets down. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. <laughs> it, I actually didn't realize it wasn't in right away. So that's getting added later. Yes, yeah, added in the summer. Okay. Um, but yeah, I will. I. I mean, I will play. Like, I'm, I will play locally though. Like, I, I don't have no problems with that. Okay, but as we were saying that, Luke has got quite the life lead here against Arsene. Yeah, also gonna get. Oh, that's unblockable. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. But not too much out of that. That's very, very fortunate for the Arsene. Oh, wow. Can't do what that. What an anti air. Yeah, you, you can go 2B. You can definitely do that. Just gotta be careful about those air, uh, those air, uh, mm. air raging lions. Yeah, it's just such a fast move once it starts that you don't see it that often. It's like, yeah. But you, you don't see it get anti aired that often, really, rather. That's true. Right. Using the reversal, able to get out. Good. Two heat level stops. Ooh, oh, yeah, the late persona. Yep. Nice 
Oh, okay. Oh, oh, very fortunate for them. Yeah. He was able to get the hit before the uh, remarkable fire to get to them. Yeah, okay. Good, no, good uh, awareness of the zoning there by Arsen. I, I sort of like that, Arsen. Yeah, I mean, you can tell he sort of understands Yukiko's patterns and great timing on when to run in and challenge. Blocking the mix. Patience. patience. Yeah, okay. This is definitely someone who's fought Yukiko <laughs> before, right? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> if you know, it, it's... Once you know the strings with her persona normals, it becomes way easier. The first few times you fight this character, it's going to feel like the high-low mix-up is non-stop because it's just sort of her auto combos do it. Yeah. Okay. One more. It's the corner. Nice stagger. Oh, but he wasn't it? The classic not expecting a counter hit. Wukash challenged at the right time, and because he was in counter hit, hit stunned the grab whiff. Yeah, like... No, it, now that 2A would not have killed, because uh, I don't think they have burst. So the 2A wouldn't have killed, would do a killing situation, but still it would have led them to having the actual corner, which you can kind of struggles at. <laughs> yep. I didn't even notice in her intro she has the parasol too, so that yeah. <laughs> so like, <laughs> it really is. Yeah, it, yep. Wukash is playing Amani too right now. <laughs> Definitely. All right, going into the second game here. Uh, Arsene, oh, I think we're going to jump in, but that's a block there. Can to jump out? A little too early? I like the idea. Of, oh, oh no. that's a rough burst, yeah. I like the idea of JC to kind of keep stay in the air, but you probably more likely want to use dive kick in that situation. Oh, oh. oh yeah, I wasn't expecting Mukesh to come down aggressively. Came down with a big button, got the counter hit. Yeah. Going to put them in awakening, so they're in a good spot. Oh, whoa, that could have been deadly if they ran into that. And that was a block. Boy. Nice block, but tried to take his turn a little too early and runs into the flame. Oh, nice pickup. Like, it seems Arsene knows a lot of the strings here and there, but they need to know when, like, the strings are, like, in, when the strings are, like, a gap there. Because Narcom can just 5A the persona to, in, in, a, in those extensions. Yeah, it feels like Arsene has a, a good handle on how to approach... Yukiko without getting mauled in the, the base level of the zoning game, but not necessarily the here's where my, it's for sure my turn. Right. All right. The VP there by Wukash. Ah, uh, unblockable. Uh, Ooh. With a back dash, it would have been fine, but, you know, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, Arsene's on the last leg. Oh, nice JQB. Ah, uh, what a gosh. Yeah, Wukash uh, holding on to his burst. I, I think that Arsene pulled up a little bit expecting the burst to come out, and it didn't. With this. Ah, yeah. Favorable yeah. trade, and that's going to do it. And yeah. Wukash takes it to zero. Yeah. Unfortunately, it did not work out well for Arsene there, but they were making a lot of good uh, calls here and there. Um, it's No, it's just that, uh, unfortunately, when they were trying to take the more grounded forward approach, they were running into fans. They weren't uh, expecting those fans to be there at the ready. Yeah, and I think they maybe got a little more impatient as the match went on because they were handling the zoning part really well. In the first game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they were doing a lot of run block, a lot of, like, get up close, and then running in challenge with 5A. And I think kind of as the match went on, they, they got away from that a little bit. Yeah, as time dwindles and you see your health going away, you start wanting to, want to take more risks, but you really need to, like, kind of be patient and wait it out. Yeah, because like, really what you're just doing is exacerbating the issue, right? If you're bleeding... Mm. Trying to flex at that time, it's not the right move, right? Your muscles are just going to tear open the cut more. Yeah. So, uh, but like, so it was a good showing here so far. They ended up being pretty far in the bracket here. Like, I mean, they got the top eight. So yeah, it's a good place. Like, and it was a pretty, it was a pretty well meaty bracket too. So, like, good yeah, stuff on them. There, there's a lot of people who are experienced anime game players who didn't necessarily play Persona that are in this bracket, but then there's also several people who played this game a lot and know how the game works that are in this bracket. So it's a, it's a tough one for sure. All right. Yep. And uh, up here we have uh, Mars and the arm. Uh, Imagine we were supposed to get earlier, but uh, we had uh, some folks in other brackets, but um, we got it right now. Yeah, Mars uh, mentioned earlier, right, he had uh, he had only really played Capcom games when this game was new. In retrospect, he's like, yeah, this game would have been perfect for me. Uh, Kanji especially. Kanji stands out as a character that Mars likes. He likes the, the not necessarily grapplers all the time, but just the... He likes characters that can brawl. Yeah, exactly. Brawler's the right word. Yeah. Oh, counter hit. But not a fatal, but so... Oh, wait. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I'm pretty much playing a very good character here to deal with uh, Kanji. 
Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the Narakami player doesn't really have to take too many risks, but the Kanji does, because there's so much that they have to watch out for. Especially when they get in this situation, Narakami doesn't really have to take any risks as you see here. Yeah, and the arm doing a really good job of kind of staying at that 5B tip range where the reversal for Kanji is just not really a threat. Yeah. The arm is pretty much playing it patient, just with no. Oh, a little too far out for the ah! Raging Lion and the Stagger. This is a good hit for Mars. That's some good damage. All right. Not spinning any meters, so. Well, uh, out. What's really important, uh, one of the biggest strengths of Kanchi is that his big BNB that you can see off that hit, it's all considered kind of grab capture state, so it's actually all unburstable. Mm -hmm. uh, it, as long as it's that specific route. Yep. Jumped out. Oh, nice call. He might be dead. Cross slash. Super. Yep. Yeah, spends it all. You got to end up using the DP to go into Awakening to get the Super, the Easton Super. It's a cross slash. Yeah, that's kind of a, a little bit of an advanced tactic there. As mentioned, you know, you have to spend some temporary health to do all of your invulnerable actions. But as you saw there, you can use that to your favor by forcing yourself under the Awakening threshold. Mm -hmm. Like, definitely one of the things that we were um, doing a lot in the first version, B4A, because it was very important to have as much uh, awakening health as possible, because that's your guts defense there. Yeah, it does not undo. When you recover your health above that threshold, or for someone like Yukigo, when you heal above the threshold, you stay in awakening the whole time. Yeah, or like Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah. Which can be very frightening at times. Characters. Ooh, Ooh, nice anti hair. Looking for the burst. No nice bite. Pick, nice command grab. Mars in. Pretty solid control here. Oh, wow. And there's a scoop to him from half screen. He walked, too. He, yep. like, walked slowly from half screen and it's snatched pretty, him. Yeah, and it counts as command grab as a half circle, so it makes it a little easier. You can walk forward and half circle back. So, yeah, he doesn't have to worry about Is it either direction? Oh, uh, no, of course not. Oh, back. okay. All right, Gold Burst not leading to a lot so far for Mars. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, Paralyzed. Yep. Uh, yep, Narukami has a lot of Persona Normals. I don't really mind for that. Yeah, that Shock State, as you mentioned, uh, the, the Paralysis debuff means you can't physically move your character. You can take actions, you can attack, but you cannot get away from the grappler, which is the scary part. Yeah, you cannot actually like move, like run for it, walk back. At some point, you you have to take a big risk, right? You gotta let the DP rip, or you gotta mash 5A or something. Yeah, and here's the crazy part about that situation, about that status, right? You can still roll or hop. Yeah, you, you can do commands that are movement. Yep, and unfortunately, a DP is gonna cost the arm a lot of health here. Ooh, all the health, actually. Yep. <laughs> First game going to Mars here. He was outside of Awakening, so unfortunately, um, that's going to just drain everything. Which will be, as you mentioned, the first game to Mars. All right. Going to game two. See. Seeing how uh, VR makes an adjustment here. Mars looking pretty solid, though. I'm pretty good. Actually, we'll put these guys in losers. I'm actually interested in that. Uh, the arm lost to Ike Sheamus. Okay. And Mars. Mars. Where is also he? Sheamus, Mike. Also oh, yeah. Ike. I, I, yeah, so both of these players have only lost to the person currently sitting in the Grand. winner's side of Grand Finals. It's all right. Well, it makes sense. Because, I mean, like, these, these are two very strong uh, players. High enough to get the juggle? Okay, wasn't a real combo, but still, you take those. All right. Oh, wow. The arm with the, you know, letting the DPs rip here. Yeah, I do like the burst. Even though that DP was sort of all the damage he's going to take, the burst forced the arm back in, into the corner, and now Mars can keep his offense set up. The lightning yeah. going off screen didn't have him pinned down, but he sort of just got caught like a deer in the headlights. Still yep. got snatched. Actually, that was proximity guard. He was still in uh, block. Yeah, 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 exactly. He wasn't in block stun, but if he didn't manually move, he couldn't just move. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. That'll yeah, definitely do it. Now, Kaji has a, one of the slower two A's, but it has a nice range to it. So it's really a call-out tool. Hops over him. All right, gets the counter hit in the air. Using the Raging Lion just as movement to advance forward a little bit. Backing off, though, doesn't want to go too close. Oh, wow, what an instant block, and then dash out of the lightning. That's interesting. Unfortunately, try to get aggressive, and Mars caught him out with a man grab. Now, does that command grab have armor or guard point or something? It, has it looks invul. like it. Okay. It has invul, yeah. 
Oh, oh speaking of info. Probably dead. dead. Oh no, and it got one chance. Okay. Alright. Uh airborne. He doesn't have meter. So yeah, the scaling's not good here. And just the meat he caught him. Uh, Alright, and Mars takes it. 2-0. All right, good showing for him. Yeah. The arm going home in fifth. Mars moving on to the loser's quarters where he's going to face off against Wukash. Right. Mars, stay put. Hey, yo, Mars. He, he's staying. He's, he's just yelling. He's making noise. <laughs> Mars doing his usual thing, popping off. All right. Okay, so here's the thing, right? We're going to see some Kanji versus Yukiko. Traditionally, this matchup is in Yukiko's favor, where she can kind of like keep him out. Has to just be aware of the uh, the new persona attack that Kanji has with the tackle, and kind of move around that, and can kind of deal with a lot of those situations. However, we have a lot of Yukiko players. In, huh? No, it's, no, it's losers. Uh, losers semis. Two out of three. So yeah. So um, the thing is that we live in Chicago, where we have some of the most progressive Yukiko players that come from here. So they want to go in. And also historically, especially for someone like Wukash who's been around for years, we had a Kanji main when this was a current game, a very good one in Grant. Yes. This is, uh, it takes away some of the advantage you might normally has, have of a Kanji player. And I think this is common for characters that are considered bad. A lot of people don't play them because they have a reputation for being bad. And then the matchup knowledge isn't really fleshed out against them for everyone else because you run into them rarely. Mm -hmm. We might be lucky, especially someone like Wukash, who has played for a long time, maybe has gotten sets back in the day with Grant. We'll have a, a little bit more familiarity with how Kanji works. Yeah, like we definitely remember the, um, the having a few matches in Arena, uh, quite a few matches in Arena, actually. And then a, little, a few in Ultimax. Um, but at, well, around the Ultimax was uh, happening, um, a lot of us, like, you know, Wukash, myself, we were all kind of like really big into Exert at that time mm -hmm. and really focused on that. Uh, but he did get some matches in this game here, but uh, let's see what, how much he remembers. Is he here? All right. All right. Okay. Immediately burst. Now, that's the thing about Persona is that you don't really want to, like, immediately burst. It's not like a, um, a, a Guilty or a Blazable game where, well, the older Blazable games, where you want to burst early and, like, uh, you know, to maintain momentum. You want to really keep your burst for, like, you know, those low health situations where you, like, want to burst and make sure you're able to go into awakening mode. Or yeah, like, you it, know. as you can see, I mean, it fills up very slowly, right? We're at the 72nd mark at a round start burst and it's barely half full. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, and also, like, you want to make sure you want to be ready for one more burst uh, situation. All right, nice. Okay. Yeah, because at this point in time, like, the, oh, and wow. Mars on the verge of getting Persona broken as well. Yeah, gotta be careful. He's using a lot. He I guess the drop kick though. He's just trying to get in. Manages to do it. Again, he's got to be pretty careful with that persona. Some character, you know, we saw earlier, you know, Mitsuru getting persona broken. She'll survive. Yeah. <laughs> Kanji will have a pretty rough time. All right. And Big damage here. Yep, that's going to kill. Yep, got the hit when they were outside of Awakening and decided to cash out. That was a good call. And one of the reasons this is pretty tough for Kanji, you can see he can get very high in the air, which will, against a lot of zoning, uh, kind of work in his favor that he can get above the projectiles. Yukiko, though, can cover multiple angles with her fans. That right there, right? She can snipe yeah. him even when he's super high up in the air. Oh, wow. And then, of course, Mukesh, you know, getting the uh, two-way first there, two-way challenge. Right. Oh, that's anti there. Very good there. Just making it very difficult for... Mars to get in. Oh, what a change nice. of pace there. Yeah, set up the zoning and then just run it in 2A. Okay. All right. Have to block that. Oh, oh, he tried to just evacuate the area, but unfortunately still got hit. Yep. Mars, though, went for the command grab reset, so not a lot came out of it. Uh, yep. The thing about that command grab there, the air one, is that you can crouch it. If you're caught, if you're standing, you're going to get snagged up, so you got to be very careful. All right. Nice pressure, good, good, good. Hold that. Yep, get out of the situation, that was very good. Oh wow, using the Thunderbird. That's a hold that. Hold this. 
I think we're just talking cool factor of a character. The fact that he had another chair on deck. <laughs> I gotta give him credit for that. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice! He answer. threw it, and he was oh, like, "Oh, that's, that's a bad burst." Yeah, and he's gonna die. Out. Yeah, that's gonna be the game. Game one, going to Wu Cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wu Cash showing that uh, they remember some uh, match having having a matchup experience, showcasing the patience and wait taking their time, calling out uh, the Kanji player for the approaches. Because one of the things that makes the matchup hard for Kanji. Um, now, obviously, if he gets in, it becomes um, a nightmare for Yukiko. But you going to have so many tools to keep him out. Yeah, part of the problem too, though, is, is he can maul because of how bad her reversal options are, but his are also pretty bad. She can kind of set up shops sort of in the same way, right? It's not like a, a unilateral advantage for Kanji as a reward for getting in. He has to hold similar pressure. Yep, that's true. Right. Early burst. burst. Yeah, back towards the corner. I like the positioning of that burst, forcing her there, but unfortunately he's not really able to turn it into pressure. Yeah, the, the issue is now that he's like... He's very close to like the awakening. He, oh, just too far. Right. I would cash out. Yep, cash out because they're about to go away. Uh, He's got level eight as well. That's it. Oh, kind of a weird hit. Oh man, got the combo. Overhead, Coming overhead. Analog. Yeah, tricky stuff. Using the persona to drag him in towards you, and then just had the overhead waiting. And that was almost perfect. Like, uh, end up using uh, an armor attack to like uh, kind of protect themselves. Okay. Was this version of this song in regular arena? This yeah, is really it, good. It was. It was. It's, uh, it's uh, just it's one of the. Uh, yeah, it's just a variation of the main theme, but it's really good. <laughs> this is it. Actually, like a, a, a remix of like it's like a, a new rendition of like Yukiko's theme. Yeah. Ooh. All right. There's actually been a few uh, songs I've heard tonight that people have chosen where I was like, what the hell? I didn't know about this song when this game was new. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The game, oh, yeah. The music in the game is uh, pretty solid. The only ones they don't have are, like, you know, the, the movie tracks or whatnot because they don't have the rights to those. But other than that, I respect the burst. That was good. Keeps you an awakening. Got to be careful, though. Force them. Well, even if you lose the rep. Oh, wow. He tried to insta kill. It. Yeah. At least All the right. burst advantage is even no matter what now. Yep. Blue cash, though. Not a lot of resources to work with. Mars does have the life lead. He does have to go in, you know, to avoid getting chipped, but he doesn't have to go in mega hard. But well, that Thunderbird is going to put him right back out there. Oh, right, nice. the low. I would cash out. Yep. Unblockable setup. Dead. And there they have it. Blue cash advances, and Mars is out. But they, have, but they are out at fourth, so pretty good showing. Yeah, really good showing. And, and again, I mean, one of the two of these played this game when it was new. It wasn't Mars. Mars, this is, he's been playing this game for two days. Yeah. He's looking pretty solid. Exactly. So, pretty much uh, gonna go ahead and uh, go into our losers finals. Yeah. Straight in, we already yeah. ran the winner's side, so Jinsoku's stepping up here. All right. See here, so we're gonna see Yukiko versus Minazuki. This matchup is a nightmare for Yukiko. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, you can, you can pull it off, but like you have to be, you have to finesse it. It's gonna be tough. Um, and of course, Ike Sheamus is kind of just chilling in grand finals. Yeah, this is a run back from the winner's side. Uh, Jinsoku 2 0'd Wu Cash relatively quickly. And I'm not gonna, I don't know how to describe it. He, I'm not gonna say mash it. He was like hacking at him, right? He was like, I recognize that even on hit, my risk reward for pushing buttons against Yukiko when I'm anywhere near her is very good. Yeah. And he just kept chunking away at her. Oh, yeah. Like, Minizuki's buttons are just exceptionally good. So, like, you know, you got to do things to kind of call them out for that or, you know, make them whiff and then punish them hard for it. Plus the movement. Uh, Wuka showed a few times he was ready for the teleport for the most part. Like he was, he was prepared to block the other direction consistently every time, but he wasn't quite ready for the anti air. He wasn't ready to like stuff the teleport. Uh, so we'll see kind of if he can figure out that timing. That's kind of the main way Jinsoku was getting in in the first set. Oh, shoot. oh wait, I see Curly call V out. Dang. Can't believe you're going to only play a game casually locally, but still use a shadow character. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that's... Yukari's kind of fun. Casually <laughs> sweaty, right? Like, I mean, like, I mean, that's the best version of her. If I want to have, I want to try the game, I might as well play the best version, right? <laughs> All right, we're going into the first uh, game here, Losers Finals. This is a three out of five. All right, Antia there. Oh, 
You know, that's actually pretty good. Good snipe there on the uh, it, We saw this in game two. Even though Wukash did lose the second game, he has started to adjust by actually playing more aggressively, kind of recognizing that Jinsoku's movement could get around the zoning pretty consistently. So he just started going in a bit more. The nice thing is when he does do the teleport that switches sides, if you're moving forward at him, you just sort of evacuate the premises and you don't have to deal with it. Yep. Oh, got a big whiff. Wasn't able to convert oh, wow. yet. Wukash moving really well, though. This looks very different from the first set. Oh, yeah. Can't play though. Yeah. Yukiko cannot play stiff against this character. Whole block. Yep. It's a lot of little stuff, too, though. Like, those supers were hitting in the first set. All right. Oh, the defense. Thunderbird just right. Oh, good oh. block on the low after good the block. teleport. Wow. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Wukash made a lot of good defense against the character. I will say there is not a person tonight who has blocked Minazuki's projectile and not realized that it's his turn after. <laughs> That's probably been the most common source of counter hits all night. Oh, yeah. Oh, unfortunately, tried to go for the first there. I think it is an overall 2D fighting game concept. If a fireball is slow, you if it's slow startup and slow traveling, don't push a button after you block it. It is not your turn. That's pretty yeah. universal. <laughs> yeah. All right. But yeah, um, but yeah. Well, Lucas is definitely looking like a head, uh, heads up here. Uh, just hopefully end up turning it around there. As I mentioned before, you know, you want to be very mobile against this character. You do not want, as a character with a lack of defensive options, you do not want to be playing the defensive game if all possible. Nice block. And again, the, the forward movement mostly working out for Jinsoku defensively, but oh, great conversion off the counter hit projectile. Yeah. Oh. Back in the so, corner. Nice. Tech buttons. Yeah, this is around the era where teching, teching with buttons was a really big deal. Unblockable fire. Is this similar to Excerpt where there's some invul yeah, carried yes, over yes, into yes, the button? Is. Yes, there is. Oh, All big right. damage. Back to block it. All right. Say no meter. Good block. Good block, yeah. Not overextending, but forgot about the other half of the meter. And okay. Had, had the burst there. It was, it was life of the round. First batch, and Soku refusing to go ah. quietly, and he's able to close it out, yeah, taking yeah. game one. Yeah, that's one of the things you got to remember as a veteran. If someone goal bursts on you, they're going to spin that meter. So you, you're pretty much, if you get hit with a goal burst, you pretty much have uh, lost the turn if they have special moves like that. So that's unfortunate for Wukash, um, and uh, it ended up costing them the round there, that first game. So we're going into game two here. All right, loser's finals. Which is Wukash tries to take an aerial offensive approach. He gets called out by the persona from Minazuki, but it's a little something going here and there. Up, right. oh, for the counter. Doesn't get a combo there. Counter hit. Oh, time with the burst. What are the few situations where I think a lot of people are gonna start changing up once they get uh, at, used to playing the game? Is that, um, yeah, can't really do that when Minazuki has all that meter. As much as Yukio is used to doing that, this is one of those characters where you just cannot, cannot afford to throw your persona out there when he has Awakening Super, oh, a super like that ready for you. All right, overhead, cash out. Damn, it really is a uh, fucking Anji overhead, too. I never noticed yeah. how close that animation is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's out. oh, nice. Found the gap. Another good hit here. Finds the 5B. Uh, Wukash is doing defending well. He's just sort of eating like one really rough counter hit per round. And the combination of low health of Yukiko and just good damage for Minazuki's Ah, it's going to hit. Oh, a ton of health. speaking of big damage. Awakening here for Wukash. This is That's unblockable tournament line. That's unblockable. No, I'm sorry. This is loser's final. Yeah, this is loser's final. Yeah, I got to update the overlay. This is the three out of five. Huh? Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, that was tricky. I like it. I was like, what you jumping in the air for? And then I saw the persona come down at the end there. Yeah, it created a hard to see situation there on the mix. Definitely. All right. Wukash doing everything they can to stay He's here. actually had a couple of like pretty cool delay persona setups that I've seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Iron Spike getting the level level up. Yeah. Nice. Yep, that, that, is a, that is a low, actually. That projectile, that low projectile was an actual low, <laughs> if you did not know. You had to block that crouching. 
Oh, tried so to get a button now. Yes, this character has the old school Sagat low fireball that actually hits low. Oh, nice oh the roll? Oh, oh. no. I, I think the the hit stop was awkward. He hit the persona rather than Min Minazoki and just wasn't really ready. <gasps> yeah. And right, now, persona uh, is back, and now Wukash is without his. This is bad. It was rough. It was definitely really rough. And he has meter. He might cash out. Here. Nice block. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice and reset. reset. Has a lot of meter and level five here. I think if he can get down, no, not able to get no. down into the super and not paying attention no, no, to no, no, just so close meter. It's, no, no, it's three out of five. Three yeah, yeah, five. three out of five. Losers finals. Yep. Is he here? But yeah. So, but yeah, like that's one of the things is like you know, as a Yuki Go player, it's so hard to like really hold, restrain yourself in that situation where someone would just throw a full screen super and just like blast through everything. Um, yeah, especially with how scrambly the late round was there, just being wary of their meter, right? Like, yeah. And the way the UI works in this game, the color, it's always red when they're awakening, right? There's not something to say, hey, they have 50 meter, you gotta watch your ass. Like, yeah. But the thing is, it's not, that's not even awakening super. That's wild bar. Uh, the awakening super is the uh, moon slasher, the uppercut super. Uh, but still, like, he has 50 meter on deck. That's be very weird, that. But Jisoku's just really picking the spots very well. Yeah, Jisoku actually chipping away at the actual persona here. Or, uh, Mukash, rather. Yep. Uh, chipping away at Minazoki's, uh persona, trying to make it harder for him to approach. Gonna burst him back into the corner, sets up the persona in front of him. Ah, good block. Good block. He's getting rewarded here. Oh, um, I like the fake out. Yep. Jinsoku on match point. Yep. I really like that teleport back into nothing mix that he did, looking for the reversal. Oh, yeah, the empty low. Yeah. All right. It, it's, it's, you know, as a Persona oh. boy, that's someone who's playing Persona, as seeing someone just doing momentum burst in the game, it's, it's just like, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the offensive use, right? I mean, it's not normal, I think, in Arxis games to be able to use the burst in your combo. I'm not counting like a... Um, What's the extra, the super where you spend your burst? Like, yeah. not counting that, but being able to actually use it as an offensive utility mid combo, you do have reasons to want to keep it in your pocket other than just getting out of the first big hit. Oh, nice the, RC. Yeah, the only other Arxis game was able to do that was uh, Blaze Blue in the Continuum Shift era. Yeah, like where you could do like gold burst combos. Yeah. That was like the only other time that uh, a game allowed you to do that. So run the pressure, right. gets the run up grab, not able to close it out yet. Oh, the air throw? Okay. <laughs> Has to be careful. Oh, yeah. wow. Decided to jump there, unfortunately, I called out there. Yeah, Wukash much more, uh, sorry. Uh, it was just a favorable situation for Wukash because you can see the difference when the meter is not on deck and he's allowed to play the full screen game. Did they remove Shadow Naruto's double super? Uh, I don't think so. I think you still do it. Like, it just had to be in shadow mode. Man, this slow projectile is putting in so much work here and allowing Minazoki to approach in a way that you have to jump and you bring the camera with you, and it makes it awkward. You come back down, and he's just there somewhere, and you're not. He he moves so quickly on the ground that maybe he gets under you, maybe he doesn't, maybe he anti airs. It'd be very difficult to keep track of. Yeah, super jumping in this game is actually kind of scary. If, if when you take the camera with you, and there's a super mobile character below you, you might be putting yourself in a cross up situation. Yeah. All right. Yep. All right. Nice fatal, got to cash out. Got to cash yeah, out. a lot of meter here for Wukash. Cash out. Oh, oh no. no. Still has meter, can't block. make a save. Oh Ooh. no, he didn't block. Another oh, one? Block. Okay. Block punish. Waited out the second hit, good patience. Yep. Good. All right, so Wukash is still in it. Yeah, didn't fall for the kind of low level knowledge check here. That super will always do both hits, So you, but you, there is a gap between. If he would have pushed a button right after he blocked in the air, he would have gotten smoked. Yeah. Yeah, just, it's just better just to block it and punish at, uh, after the second hit. Like if they, especially if they don't have the meter to RC it to make it safe. Ooh, nice roll through. Oh, fortunately there. Minazuki button's too good. Nice EP. 
Ooh. Oh, oh wow. bad burst. That's what I was talking about. You do not need to do that burst was uh, not necessary. Um, so yeah, it was also a, a level zero Yukiko with no meter, right? Exactly. You were not. You were gonna eat you, maybe two K off of that hit. Yeah, you were not. You were nowhere near fear of dying. Okay, unfortunately hit. As I mentioned, gotta be careful. I, no, I like the stuff attempt, but unfortunately it didn't work out in their favor. Un uh, just runs into a jump in. Blue Cash with a lot of meter might not get a chance to use it. Yep. Ah. Meaty projectile. Yep. Probably one of the reversals just didn't get it. But even then, it was still safe and uh, just something could have punished. Yeah, be very careful. All right. Oh. Nice. Yep. So he crossed himself up. Okay, coming in the clutch. Oh. Uh, okay. Nice block. There we go. Remembering how to punish the Minazuki uh, teleport. All right, try to call him jumping out. That is a, like I said, people are not ready for that. That is an actual low projectile. You have to block it low. Gotcha. Fortunately, he tries to go for offense. Minazuki presses 5A. Nice block in the empty low there. Oh, the low to the ground air grab. Nice. Yep, a one burst. Unfortunate drop. Oh my gosh. No, but good to see the adjustment, right? Of like being mindful of using the burst offensively. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yep, that's a lot of damage. He, and if, in the course of uh, just something wasn't dead, another fire pro super was coming. So they were definitely for sure dead. All right. The block. Rolls through, looking for the reversal. Yep, yep. nice. Yeah. Make it hurt. Do what you can. Keep him over there. He has no meter. He has no meter. Nope. That's 25. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Gonna force. All right. Okay, got the air to air or anti air pick up. Lock. Okay. Fortunately, he was not able to deal with the teleport there. All right, teleport mix. Putting in work right now. Ooh. Ooh. Let the projectile rip. Gonna get punished for it. Push Cash back out. towards the corner. I'm blocking. Yes, it is. And he's dead as long as he doesn't drop the combo. Now he has to be careful. A lot of meter. Careful. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, it just runs into a normal air button. Yeah. And that's uh, gonna do it. Jinsoku moving on for the rematch right, against then. like Sheamus. Alright, grand finals, to be the one. So I saw this winner's finals uh before I started playing one of my matches in Strive. And um it was a lot of uh Jinsoku just being way too aggressive against a character that has longer range buttons and um no, running into a lot. So, um, yeah, I, I Sheamus was pretty content to play a slow game and just use, you know, the God buttons on Mitsuru, one of the better footsies characters, like not just in this game, just in anime games, mm -hmm. one of the, the classic big mid-range normal characters. Absolutely. Like, I mean, that's that's one of his specialties, yep. So, like, um, like of course, like, you know, why change the game plan if it works? Yeah. So, like, you know, I Sheamus won that set three to one. Uh, it's up to Jinsoku to make those adjustments and um, be you no know, choose when their their endpoints a lot better because they were at when it got towards it, like you no know, when it was two one, they were very very aggressive and adamant on trying to force it, which yeah. is kind of Jinsoku's thing, and that's usually what gets him killed. And he was doing stuff. Uh, he would end his combo in the side switch teleport while he was working towards the corner and push Mitsuru back out to mid screen rather than pinning her down in the corner. Mm. Usually ending up with some sort of like uh, manually timed cross-up scenario. And I, Seamus, was like, well, that doesn't look real. And he just let the DP you rip. Rock. Yeah, and if on counter hit DP, you get a Bufu die. Mm -hmm. So I don't know the classic. So, um, so yeah, so it's going to be up to Jinsuku to make those changes. Uh, I, Seamus, has a pretty solid game plan to deal with uh, no, the hyper-aggressive offensive approach. Can <laughs> definitely do things to slow them down. He so was also sitting in the front uh, watching all the matches. I mean, he'll have a pretty good idea of the strings that Jinsoku wants to use, mm -hmm. uh, you know, taking the time to kind of pay attention to what the opponent's doing. Oh, yeah. See. That, that's the real, I think, benefit of the winner side of Grand Finals, other than, you know, obviously the set advantage is always good. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's something to be said for being the one coming into the set cold, yeah. being a slight advantage sometimes for the loser, but if you didn't have anything better to do than just hang out and watch the opponent's matches, you're going to go in with more info yeah. than you would have otherwise as, as the person sitting in winners. Most definitely. All right. So it looks like Jinsoku's back, which is waiting on Ike Sheamus, I believe. Like, they were up there to put their stick up for a bit. Um, and uh, 
I saw the not too long ago. I think they uh, hit the bathroom real quick. Ah, okay, fair enough. But yeah, but in the meantime, I'm glad to you know see that you no know, Persona uh, is uh, being streamed tonight. Got like people playing games. Got quite a few setups, and um, I might end up getting some casuals in uh, after Strive uh, after this Strive bracket. Yeah. Man, <laughs> speaking of casuals, I just <laughs> looked forward. I have to leave. I have to work. Be up at like 6:30 in the morning for work. Ah. You mentioned hanging out to play casuals. I look directly forward, and there's a Street Fighter 4 setup. Oh my god! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like you see your one true love, you're like, man, yeah. Man. I was, uh, no. Tomorrow's like a pretty important work. I got, I can't, I can't mess around. I but. understand. I mean, that's kind of how it was for me for the past like month. For like, you know, after Frosty, I couldn't come out to the Friday locals because yeah. I was busy with uh, work myself. I've been trying to get uh, Waifu Dome back for like two months, and I just haven't had like a free weekend to to do it. Like, like it's been quite busy for quite a few of us, and I expect we uh, can uh, only make the assumption that you've been quite busy yourself. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff coming up too. Uh, you know, we're working on uh, you know pre combo breaker and look alive stuff. Uh, a lot of that is in the works. Uh, at my own stuff, we are still working on most of the stuff at the house is set up for the first. Uh, we'll probably start with Grand Blue uh, for the Waifu Home, the actual offline SSS tournaments. Uh, and then we'll be. I actually probably will include Persona. Kind of like what I'm going for is the anime games that we have, you know, Garage Gear, we have like established Guilty Gear tournaments. Yeah. Also, my house can't fit 40 people that strike yeah. my draw. <laughs> I like, you know, the, the, the sweet spot of, like, the Grand Blue, the Blaze Blue, bring in, like, 18, 20 people yeah. into the basement. And That's fine. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, what's up, Karasi? You in the chat? What's good? Shoot. All right. I hope you're uh, here to enjoy this nice grand finals here. We got some Mitsu versus Minazuki, two sword characters going at it. And I, Seamus, uh... Pretty optimal song choices every time he's on. Mm -hmm. big, I'm actually a big fan of this track. Oh, yeah. Last Battle. Oh, this is great. Good choice. Already on my good side. And, all right. Yep. So, actually, I'm known for playing more of a slow-paced game, as we mentioned earlier. Not allowing people to force their will and make people hang themselves. And so good with the color change as well. wondering if he's... Uh, you know, if, if there's any sort of mental adaptations going on for him right now, like you know, he's a, you know he's a pro tag player, so he's gonna play the main character's colors. This is definitely this is Amina uh, main color, so he's gonna run that. So I respect it. Oh, nice roll, able to get out of the situation, and good counter poke with the five B there. Nice throw. Ah, could have RC'd and did another JB. And that could have been the round, but this was going to take out the advantage of the Oh! Fates it out. Oh, super. forgot about that. Yep. Special cancel on block. You can punish it, but you got to wait a little longer. It's a 50 50 mix up. It's like, will they super or not? Nah? <laughs> I think. Uh, I never realized that Mitsuru is sort of the originator of the first world problem, like Ruby issue, where your 5B is so good that 5BB will sometimes whiff because 5B made contact from way further than it should have. Yeah. That'll definitely happen. All right. All right, just so we've got a good control here in the corner situation. Oh, rolls out. Doesn't call out the roll. TP. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What a good TP. I mean, it's a gigantic square. Yeah, luckily for <laughs> Jinsoku, it hit on the backside, so he wasn't able to get the Bufadine uh, tack on. Oh, nice. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that uh, the choice after the burst. He was sitting on the leader, so. And now he's down, like, he's not getting a burst back, so he's got to play this out without it, so. Nice roll. Going to get the overhead as well. Yep, go with the wall. Yeah, just so very late uh, meeting, and again, just going with these lows here. Yeah. Someone just in complete control right now. DP. Soka not afraid. He teched the DP with a forward jump, just coming right back in. Yeah. Like, I mean, you, I mean, we know just so he is all about being offensive and aggressive. So, like, it's all about knowing how to stop him, because he's not gonna stop. Like. He's like, you're not going to stop him. He's going to stop himself. Yeah, exactly. And you need something like what Ice Sheamus put together in the first set of consistently punishing the overextensions. But mm -hmm. not this time. Jinsoku actually going to take game one here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but like now, uh, now the thing is, is that Jazoku decided to be hyper aggressive and is uh, not respecting anything that um, that uh, Ike Sheamus is doing. So Ike Sheamus needs to make the adjustment to like you know kind of like let him hang himself. He's kind of just trying to like you know get him to calm down. And unfortunately, this is the type of player that just is not going to do that. Yeah, and, and there's two roads, right? You either need to sort of meet them there and just beat them to the punch, or like you said, you gotta really tighten up. You gotta look for these gaps that you're leaving open to the super mashes. You gotta pay attention to the teleports. Which is why I mentioned slowing it down, because that is not like Seamus' game. Yeah, yeah, he, I, I've never seen him play like a mega rushdown character in any game. Like, he, he's not one to like, you no, know, try to force it. And if he does, it doesn't really lead to like very good situations for him, because that's out of their play pattern. So he wants to go ahead. Like the thing is, like playing generally safe is totally fine. Oh, oh my, yeah. So good, please, like, it's so good. Need to Let's found see. the gap again, though. Wow, that does so much damage. I'm like, yeah. and I'm always surprised how a single unscaled super just chunks off thirty percent. Super. Not respecting it though. Awakening for extra damage. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have any meters, so... Oh, oh yeah, just bet it. Yeah. But that's the thing. If, you, if, just so, if you're playing... The, if you're ex Seamus, you want to go ahead and play around the, the, the meter game. Like, you see something has a meter, you see that he's been mashing super out of all your blocks. Yeah, you, you pause the block string early and you block. You just oh, yeah. gotta be careful of doing it up close. Other people have already gotten in trouble against Jinsoka tonight by doing that up close, but he decides to take the turn with a button and now they're just in pressure. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. DP. Yep. Yep. Choosing a... Yeah. All right, that was good. Got a lot of uh, blue help out. Okay. Uh, done. Okay. Wait. There you go. There you go. Yep. That's it. Especially if, if you can bait that super out, Kudrab, probably the best punish option you could think of, right? Just very fast, very far range. It doesn't matter where you block it from as long as you make the block. Yep, that is the That is facts. Nice counter hit. Ooh, oh, that's big fatal. counter hit. Yeah, that's going to damage. Ah, oh, you don't know the fatal counter combo. He's still got his damage. He has good damage. Yeah, 4.3. I can't, I can't give him too much crap. Yeah, I mean, there could have been 2k more damage. <laughs> But you know what? He's gonna, like, actually, this is a pretty good spot. Just so. Oh, yep. Just so we're gonna uh, challenge there. Alright. Oh. oh, nice jump. Baited and, it out. A little yeah. bit of a scramble after, but the DP into Bufadai and able to close it. Yeah, Jisoku is legitimately taking himself out of the game. He's got to, like, just like, just as I mentioned, I Seamus made that adjustment of, oh, you're gonna whoops, whoops, whoops. keep disrespecting? I will wait. And so now Jisoku has to calm it down a bit. But the question is, is he? I'd like him to, but we don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to really phrase that, but uh, we will see if he can make that adjustment here because he does need to make it happen. Otherwise, Ike Sheamus could run away with this. Yeah, that's the hard part about oh. being hyper aggressive, right? Once the other person sort of has a handle on where you want to be aggressive, if you're using punishable options often, you're just kind of accelerating your own death. Yeah. Good blocks. Right. I like the uh, to the attempt. Unfortunately, just a uh, wrong angle. That's actually happened to him a bunch tonight. He's, he's had a lot of trouble sort of reading the, the right spot for the 2B and ended up whipping it and getting into trouble. This time, Jinsoku 2 actually held up and took the burst right after as well. Oh, oh wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yowch. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, Jisoku just decided to go ahead and say, I'm going all in. All right, so Jisoku done mutated, and it's up to Shike Seamus to go ahead and kill the mutant. No, it's not happening so far. Right. And so it's looking very rough for them. Oh, great conversion. Oh, OK. Right. I thought he was going to set up a cross-up, but actually overextended with the hop there. Good bait. Counter hit. Oh, no doubt. Oh, the Persona probably tanked. Uh, yeah, it took one of the hits. Made it a very awkward situation there. All right. Fade it out. Oh. Psych wow. Oh. Yeah, that's invincible. 
Ah, I wish they would have What a it. scramble and a quick game three. Jinsoku coming right back. Like I said, he mutated. He just ran at him and said, I'm not gonna let, I'm just gonna play the game. And you will not play the game. Like uh, uh unless I shame this kid stop, this is gonna be a bracket reset. So yeah. Oh shoot, we got quite some folks in here. Appreciate yeah, thanks all Thanks to uh, Juju Blue coming through. Yo, yo, thanks for the shout out y'all. Appreciate y'all coming through, coming into the grand finals here. We're sitting here at a potential uh, final reset. Like Sheamus. Yeah. Yeah. The back. Oh, the late, late JB. That was so low to the ground compared to how you normally see it. And this time, the 2B counter hit works out. All right. Uh, all right. Oh, ahead. Wow, chunky damage. Wait. Oh, wow. I thought, he, I thought he waited. Oh, what? Nobody's waiting. Oh, oh nice gosh. bait. Great late jump. Able to bait out the DP. Got back for the punish. Yep. I right, Sheamus. Pretty much all. Uh, Wedding Jinsoku himself. All right, Jinsoku seems to have calmed down a little bit. Got a nice counter hit. hit. Gonna go all offensive, all in. All right. Oh, counter hit, no conversion. Nice to be. Whoa, what a reset. What the, that was a fatal counter reset. That could have been terrible. Put himself in the corner, but able to get the, the tricks with Kudra whipping it. Very little recovery, actually, on whiff. You'd be surprised. Uh, and at max range, you can convert that into pushing buttons before they can react. Yeah. Burst out. Burst. Another super. Oh, another chunk. Right. However, you are in Awakening. A little too far. Nice. anti airs with the DP. Whoa. And he didn't wait out the second hit. He did not care. And he got gold bursted on it. Don't do anything! Don't, I was about to say, don't do he's gonna, anything. He's gonna do it! He had enough meter to super and RC it if it didn't work out. Yeah, you should have rolled. Could have rolled that. Definitely could have. And now, just something sitting on a uh, no, match reset. Nice blocks, but still pinned down in the corner. Found the spot to challenge. Out. Brain trap too. Oh, but the wake up grab when he was looking for the safe jump. Yeah. Nice roll. And Jusoku needs to stop pressing you, but that's his EV. When when Mr. Rue's sitting on all that meter. It's like driving, right? You gotta look at the mirror. You gotta look at the meter. Just give it a glance down. Know if someone's behind you. Pretty much. Oh, okay. Last okay. Burst. Yeah. Last burst is out. This is, oh, and a gold burst. This is looking very close to a reset right now, but he does find a hit. Waits out the super. Good. Yep. There it is. All right, Sheamus two -two. bringing it together. We've got a two to two now. Trying to hold off this reset. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, just look just like trying to bring I Sheamus to, like, you know, come play with me in the Shadow Realm. It's fun down here. Trying to bring him down into the loser's bracket for this reset. I'm glad that I'm here watching because uh, you played me enough. You know that's not where I want to be. <laughs> I don't hang out there. I, I, I No, yeah, absolutely not. I, oh, trust me. I hate it there. I hate it there as well, but uh, I can play down there. I just choose. I just rather not. <laughs> yeah. All right. We are 2-2 in the grand finals bracket here. Oh, oh nice. Finds, finds the overhead, forces the burst out. Okay, both players using the burst really early. Yeah. DP baited. it. Oh, oh no, but he had that extra little back step there. Yeah, trying to go for a fatal counter setup, honestly, so I don't blame them for the attempt. It was the right call. It just, um, unfortunately, just wasn't ready for it. Just hope to press the buttons on landing. Of course, you can do that when you get meter. And Soku waits it out. Going to get the punish here. This is going to make up a good amount of the life difference. Yep. Probably more importantly, it's killing time because he was in meter cooldown from spending his super. Yeah. He just needed to kill time to where he can make meter again because he needs that invincible option. Yep. Good block. Okay. Oh nice. Great whip punish. Yep, just wait it out. Took it so slow, slow pace to play, uh, play it out with no, no pokes, pokes. No. And now we're on tournament point. Big turnaround. Jinsoku was staring at reset point, but Ike Sheamus has made it all the way back, and now Jinsoku on the verge of going home in second. Oh, oh, wow. I was about to say, if that was the version, that would have been kind of sick. All right. Go walk here. Ooh. Nice counter hit uh, Stinger. 
Nice conversion. Nice to be. Yep, forces the burst. Good block. I don't think. Oh, oh, oh got followed. We got something there. Wasn't ready for it. All right. Yeah, now just looking really sitting on no burst. He has. To, he has to win this round. Right now, in order to even get uh, any type of uh, defensive yeah. attack. Awakening is there for Ike plus 120 meter. Oh wow! He could just yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Stuff's happening. I don't know enough about Persona to, oh, <laughs> to keep up. Oh yeah. Jinsoku oh, trying to get on. away, but the DP hitting on the other side, and Jinsoku on his last oh. legs and goes for the projectile. Great reaction for Ice Sheamus and popping yeah. off. Might as well, you know. And also that is a low, full screen low. Congratulations to Ice Sheamus taking it three to two. It's so good effort, though. Uh, lots of good adjustments there yeah. to go ahead and try to get their game plan going. But uh, Ike Sheamus is able to kind of like weather the storm and um, keep them back a foot, pick him up foot. And so with that being said, that will end up giving Ike Sheamus our, uh, our, uh, pretty much our champion tonight. All right. Well, thanks to Chris Chaos for joining me on the mic. Uh, that's actually going to be all that we have for tonight. I hope everyone enjoyed Persona 4 Arena. Again, this just came out yesterday. Uh, the PS4 port, this is an old... PS3 game uh, came out in about 2013, 2014. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, it's Wild West. Is There's it? a lot of crazy options in this game. If you like scrambly games, you like fast-paced fighting games, it's a good yeah. one to check out. Oh, yeah. And uh, with that, I hope you all enjoyed the show. We're going to go ahead and step on out, and I'll catch up with you all later. Hope you all enjoyed the show. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Peace.